What's going on guys? It's your boy James. Hey Alexander. It's your boy Fuhat. Just to let you know, the Cocktails and Takeaways live show on July the 4th. I'll be there and I'm hoping to see you there too. Grab your tickets ASAP. Love. start the conversation right motherfucking here there's <laughs> one group of men that need to leave me the fuck alone and it's aries men leave seriously can you talk more about seriously? aries men oh i spoke to one and he was a hot head because i what? i stopped talking to him because i was busy and he thought i was ignoring him because me and him were the same height and he thought <laughs> i stopped talking to him because of that but i've just been busy so he was like yeah, fuck out of here. You a fucking clown. I was like, first of all, we're the same height. I can head the fuck out of you. <laughs> but you know, I'm not like that. that. I'm not like that. I'm not possessive like that. That was crazy. He really went off on me, and I was like, that's really embarrassing. Because I was like, I didn't even do anything. I feel, okay, I don't know. I don't know what you're about to say about Aries, but let me defend this real quick. In no. regards to, like, me, I feel like when I'm a hothead, it's when I'm getting frustrated because somebody mm -hmm. is like... It frustrated me because I'm in a situation and if somebody's like, <laughs> if somebody is literally just like trying mm. to intrude on me being like, all right, give me a second. Because I do say that a lot. Mm. I'm like, give me a minute to be by myself so I can mm -hmm. kind of just like recoup. And some people don't get that space. Like, I'm a space person. Like, okay. when I need my space, I need my Yo, space. She wants to talk. And... and <laughs> I'm, I'm, I want you to defend yourself. Okay, like, no, no, no. Hey, go ahead, go people. ahead. No, I'm going to defend, defend your people. Go ahead. What are you about to say? Do you know what it is? My worst experiences, yes. seriously. My, no, my most beautiful, like, in terms of, like, the romance, but the toxicity has been with Aries men. Like, I feel like I'm a Libra, so mm -hmm. Aries and Libra, we're, like, very, very compatible. Compa yeah, you're supposed to be compatible. We are, we are very compatible, because yes. at the beginning, it's always fireworks. It's like, they're usually very attractive. The yeah. sexual uh, chemistry is there. They're funny. They've got energy energy but then when the madness starts coming out they are really 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 not normal human beings but i think the woman in me kind of likes the toxicity a little bit <laughs> yeah. like it's just the, the balance of like oh somebody that is like really charming and really sexy and really funny but it's like yeah. just a dash of, yeah. of problematic that's how i am with libra men but see, <laughs> no way hold on though because i feel like with the aries we can kind of be we can be confused we can be confused <gasps> y'all so motherfucking indecisive yeah. no, 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 i'm saying i'm saying like people can confuse mm -hmm. our like anger it's like i feel like aries just if you give them some people can get it like if you give them that space They'll be chilling. Nah. No, but I'm a Libra. I want to breathe in your nostrils. No, <laughs> see, I don't see, like. I, I want to breathe I'm in the your nostrils. Person. I don't like somebody so possessive over me because I'm just like. I'm so clingy. Yeah, you're Libra. Clean. I'm so Libra. I am so Libra. I am a clingy dude. Like no you telling me if I was like, oh, I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I'm coming with you. Yeah, let's go. No, you just I'm, you chill home. I'm gonna get you something good that you'll like. How long you gonna be? I'm gonna be a little while. Like mm -mm. you don't gotta stress that much. No, ten minutes. Ten Once minutes. I'm you, tell you, the grocery shop is only around the corner. I Facetime you when I go to your section and I get the stuff that okay. you like. Nah. You see that stuff? As long as that, like, the, who's that in the corner? Like, <laughs> well, who's that around? Who's that in the back of you? Oh, the, the shop is it's literally okay, no a way. random lady. Oh, that's right. what I'm talking about. Nah, it's an old me. lady. It's a not the old, old lady with a cane. Old lady like this. Who is that? <laughs> Watch me popping pussy like yeah. this. <laughs> In the fucking grocery store. <laughs> no, that's me. That's me. I'm so clingy, yeah. And I'm such a... I'm, I think my toxic trait is that I'm an attention seeker. Libra. Yeah, very But much they're known so. as that. But honestly, I don't blame y'all. Because a lot of people think it's Leos. Leos are very much, I want... Mm -hmm. The attention, but I feel like Libras they want the attention, but in different ways. I'm such but a I like it. I'm so, listen, I really do. I love not not attention seeker. Like, oh my god, all eyes on me. But yes. I love I love people spending time with me. Qu oh, question. Because this me. is another thing about Libras. So when you're like when you have a flirty personality, I can already fuck. I can tell that you have a flirty personality. So when you're talking to somebody and you're being flirty, but then once you see like, oh, they have interest in you, it's like, oh, well, I don't know how they got that. I don't know why they would think that. You do that? Do you do that? Do you know what? I'm so toxic. Do you know what I am? <laughs> oh my I'm God. Libra. Libra. I told oh. you. They all they do are. that. My manager, I said this to my manager one time because there's oh, a lot of times, there's a lot of times I flirt with guys, yeah, 
because I like the I like knowing that if I wanted to go there, I could do it. Oh, so, so thanks like, for admitting and calling. No, seriously, yeah. like oh. I will flirt with you and I will I will push it to the edge just for yeah. the satisfaction of knowing if I wanted to fuck you, I could do that, you know, <laughs> but not do it. Like I just would just the satisfaction of like I can if I wanted to go there. <laughs> No, I'm I'm and then so close the door up. after. No, really, be like, I don't know where you would get that idea from. That's what they. It's like, yeah, not for me though. It hasn't happened to me. Well, I've always oh gotten God. an idea. I but feel that's like with I Aries, see. we don't really like. If somebody approached me, I'm like, okay, but like have that energy because I feel like once you talk to me, I'm gonna have that energy to back it up. But I feel like I rather approach because I'm I'm more of an approacher because I'm just mm-hmm. like, yo, it's good, like you look good or something like that. Mm. And I feel like sometimes Aries don't really like. Child, I don't even, I hate humans, but I love them. <laughs> I do love them touching them, but I'm like, you know, I hate humans, but hey, I just be doing my it. thing. But what is good, guys? It's your girl, Madam Joyce. We are back again. Hello. Happy Wednesday. We are back. And this is Cocktails and Takeaways. If you're new here, what's fucking good? And if you are a bad boy and girl, what to do, what to do, chicken and stew. Now, disclaimer. Last week, I had someone in the comments upset the fact that we had a lot of swearing and i just want to say <laughs> listen yeah this is motherfucking cocktails and takeaways you think so if you know you don't want to hear swearing if you don't you know you don't want to hear anyone talking about their pussies <laughs> or their cocks <laughs> or their buttholes please go and watch cnn or go and change to the christian channel <laughs> where you will find that good holy piece of content there no, for no, me. No, no, that's right. It but, was hard for you to spit that out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, because she, the girl went for my comments like, oh yeah, I don't appreciate all, all, this, all this swearing. Listen, that's the wrong, this is the wrong, wrong channel. This, is the, this ain't Disney Channel. This is, this not, is Nick at Night. This is not, not Nick at Disney Night. Channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's give Nick at Night channel, down. Honey. So I just want to put that disclaimer first, but if you know that you are about the motherfucking vibe and you're here to have a good time, then hello. Hi. Hope everyone's had a phenomenal week. I am really, really happy to be here today. The sun is a shining. You lying. The sun is it's, out. It's a little gloomy. The sun is not It's out. a little gloomy. I'm sorry. It's gloomy. It's gloomy. I'm so okay. sorry that your usual You said you was going to keep it real. How are you going to keep it real it's when it's a... It's warm here. I'm it's sorry that you guys are where's in the sun? hell. Where's the sun? The sun is shining. I called him. He didn't come. Mm. The Sunisha, Sunisha came and appeared. <laughs> Okay, she's here. Where? She's here. She's here. Listen, <laughs> no, we're well, not about. Listen, every time the US girlies come here and the man them come here, they always make it a US UK thing. I didn't you say guys it. have already started. North Carolina, I'm sorry you live in the dessert. Dessert? In the dessert? In the, or the dessert? dessert? The same the thing. It's the same thing. It's the same, it's the same spelling. No. The cocktails are hitting. It's the same spelling. No. Something it's is the same off. spelling. It's just, Something is off. <laughs> no, it's there's insane. one. There's one with two S's. There's one with one. Which one? Desert. Whichever desert. one you want to pick. <laughs> Whichever one you want to motherfucking pick. But guys, I would love to introduce my guest this week, all the way from the motherfucking US. Do you know what? Yeah, honestly, I'll be I'll be vulnerable. Let's let's all be honest here. For the OGs that are here, sometimes you know the US lots they hit and miss when they come. You know. Sometimes we have a good time. We have a phenomenal time. So other times, <laughs> if you know, you know, is it? Like other times, but guys, do you want to say <laughs> no tea, no shade. No, no tea, no, no shade. Well, 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 no tea, no motherfucking stage. I said stage. Stayed. No tea, it's no okay, stage. It's okay. The, the drink is already, the cocktails Listen, is cocking. Anytime you have any situation, blame, blame the cocktail. The cocktails is cocking, y'all. Yeah. Oh, it's cocking. It's cocking. Now do the wine. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this? <laughs> no, if you don't put your hand on your head, just... it don't work. It don't you gotta, you gotta, just, you gotta, it. You gotta put it on. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Guys, they have no idea what we're talking about, but we'll get to that story later. <laughs> but I would love to introduce my guest. I'm so excited to announce today's guest. First of all, we have a fashion model. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I read it so wrong. I read it so wrong. We have a model, a fashion guru, and a social media sensation whose hilarious skin <laughs> and TikTok will leave you in stitches. Yes, we cry of laughter all the motherfucking time. Coming all the way from the US, I'm so happy to have Tyshawn Lawrence in the motherfucking building. Ooh. I 
and of course we have a singer she is a dancer she's an actor and she from the real streets of motherfucking Harlem guys I know we that's have right. Jazzy Woo! The Rose in Harlem hey. <laughs> oh, in Harlem oh you know that <laughs> Listen. Don't get me started on Tiana Taylor. Yeah, Can I we love talk her. about it? Yeah, love because her. I'm what? You what? You what? I don't like the way I don't. She should be one of the hugest. Talk about it. She should be yeah, one of the hugest it. stars. No, she's so talented. so talented. Music, her category. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it was a cocktail. Talking. The category of her music is actually amazing. Yes. And I went to see her. On, I went to see her last tour when she, you know, and. What's she her at? goodbye to her or whatever, mm-hmm. and it was phenomenal. Like Is she no longer making music. She stopped. I think she stopped. No one. Her, she's hopefully gonna come back. She has yeah. to. Yes, but like she's, she's no. Really right good. now she's um she what did she she uh did Lotto's performance for Coachella. Yes. She choreographed it. Yes. And now she's doing Summer Walker. Summer Walker. So uh. I saw that video when she was when she was working through Summer Walker's um concert. Yeah. yeah. And it was almost like I'm like, girl, you should be on the motherfucking stage. Like me, she knows she, that. She, yeah, she, she knows I love Summer that. Walker. But she was like, even the way she was, it's like she was performing. It's like, girl, you're not telling me that you don't miss well, the she, stage. Well, listen, the thing is, like, I feel like when Tiana Taylor, like, she's been, I'm gonna talk about it. I'm sorry because yes. I love her, but she's been in the industry for so long, and I feel like she knows that she should be at a point where a lot of these artists get like, yeah um but i feel like i feel like she's just like what's the point if i'm gonna get pushed by these labels like we don't know what goes on behind the scenes at yeah. all like what's where normani oh my gosh you know that would be the best collab tiana taylor where and is normani, normani? That's really I, true. we talk that, about that we talk about every day because i was a fifth harmony stand down yeah so once she went solo i was on it but what Happened. Something she happened. Had a great There's solo something career. behind yes. the scenes, and just it just almost flatlined. Like, I think it's like her, her team. I think it's the team. Yeah, I think it's got to be the label too. The label. Yeah. I don't know if it's her team. I think it's even Tanache. Oh, Tanache, they did. So she went independent. So she she, she literally left and said, like, "I'm going independent." Because a lot yeah. of the K-pop girlies have taken the whole. You know, Tanache. Like she was the first girly to really come and give us no, hard really choreography did. and singing and everything like she was doing her shit. then she now was. like again we ain't seen nothing from her but wait am i bugging who sung the new song that's come out just learn about the party girls lighting up the mm. world i i, is that I know that Tinashe? wait i think is that not her comeback no, no it was um oh so. god i know who you're talking i know who it is um the one that did um um Vin- um, Victoria Monet. Oh, oh my Victoria God, Victoria Monet. Monet. Yes. Oh my her. gosh, I Victoria love Monet and Coco her. Jones. Victoria Monet. I you listen love to Coco? So I love Coco. Much. I love Coco too. I think she's fab. I love when a girlie comes from doing acting and then just comes into that transitional. Yes. Because I'm sorry, when she <laughs> don't. Mm. You better talk about it. I'm sorry. Her on Let It Shine. Her on <laughs> no. Coco, no, nobody talks about it. Her, no. Coco no, on Let It Shine, she ate that shit the fuck up. But remember when they used, like Disney Channel used to have like that um, rising star thing with mm-hmm. each kid? I remember she her lied. like vaguely. No, you don't remember. No, you don't remember. So you lied to me. What well, rising star? I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it was the US thing. <laughs> I, I I lied and I was like, yeah, yeah, you yeah, say, yeah, yeah, that. yeah, sure. Well, we haven't <laughs> seen any of their like British channels, so we don't know what uh, what their. Disney Channel was like so our Disney different. Channel was like I, I grew up with That's a Raven I feel like a lot of my personality yeah. came from watching That's a Raven no, and, and Proud Family too and Proud Family yeah. yeah we had Proud Family we had Zack and Cody Sweet Life oh, okay. we had the same Disney you had Sweet Life on Deck yeah we had Sweet okay, Life on Deck okay, the revamp good. High School Musical are you fucking crazy and show me one of the dance moves from High School Musical Mm. We're all in this. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. We're sweet, no, we're sweet enough. I had a check. Uh, we're all stars and we see that. We're all in this together. And then, oh my God, you know the whole routine? That's my motherfucking sister, Jazzy. I know, listen, that's right. Can I get another coffee? Of course you can. Listen, some people like to come on here and just like stand there and just... I'm going to ask. Like, one thing thing about me, I'm going to be... I'm if I'm thirsty, I'm going to ask. So guys, mouth. talk to me. How are you Ooh, finding your... <laughs> she thick. Yeah, you ready? Thick, mm. You ready? You ready? <laughs> Squatting up and he got me squatting. No, it's actually, it's actually quite warm in here. I do apologize. But how okay. are you finding your trip? How are you finding London? Talk to me. We actually love it. 
a um, lot. Yeah, I mean, no. We, I, honestly, um, I love it. Oh, no, I was going to get us to some things. Okay, tell us oh, yeah, 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 I'm going to get us to some things. I feel like, okay, I obviously, I'm going to talk about the good things, and then I'll talk about like, the stuff yeah. that I'm not feeling. But, like, I love coming here because... I love being international. Like yeah. coming here is cute. I saw that we got on the trains. I was like, damn, this shit is clean. All this. Um, I feel like I love the areas. Y'all have a lot of like stone statues. All that is really cute. And I'm like grateful to be here and be able to even come, you know, internationally. But um, why y'all so mean? No, and <laughs> I come no, from New York. Y'all can be a little rude. Y'all can be a little mean. Let's talk about it because it was so funny. Like what I do. Y'all want to buy the titty? was walking mine in his own business. You wanna buy, they want to buy the titty? Like, what you looking at? No, and he no. was like, oh my God, I love London. And then somebody was like, move, man. <laughs> <laughs> Loud. Loud as hell. Do you know how funny that video was? Because I was like, guys, like, I love when people come to this city. Yeah, but please, though, our energy is so different to the US lots that I, can I remember because I think a lot of you guys you're so on like hospitality and good service so mm-hmm. every time I go to, uh, out to America people are fucking nice oh my god hi to the point where it's to me as a UK person it's even a bit slightly annoying yeah <laughs> you're like, like why are you so damn nice? nice it's like why are you so fucking nice like no I be doing that sometimes I, I feel it's that okay. though I feel that I feel like both of us be doing Here, it like damn too nice everything is bish bash bosh yeah. like we don't have time to, like, here's the coffee, thank you. Not here's the coffee. Get into the taxi. Yeah, when you say thank, thank you, you. Yeah, they, don't, they don't, don't. Everything is just, everything is very transactional. It's very fast paced. Mm-hmm. We don't slow down to speak to people. We don't, like, it's very fast moving. So all yeah. the extra oh, pizzazz. Y'all, the way, you, oh no, you bitches think. <laughs> <laughs> So full of themselves. Literally, we can be walking. They want to... It's not like we're walking slow. But once, like, I can be walking straight, somebody just wants to write in yes, front of me. And I'm you're like... You're not walking fast enough. I am. I'm you're a New Yorker. I'm a New Yorker. I walk I'm fast. Sorry, you know, everything in New York fast. is fast-paced. We got places to be. But I'm just like... What makes you think that your puss is so good and tight but that I you can like just they come can, in front of me like that? They be confused with their walking because they walk fast, but, but they yeah, also but walk they don't. slow. Like, very, like, very slow. I'm like, pick, okay, Pick bet. a side. And it's, it's getting in not. front of me and, and taking your time. Like, I know you got somewhere to go. Listen, you're not about to come about about the fucking UK <laughs> show. I talk about, I talk about how we so bad. I'm no, sorry. But honestly, Listen, I like you guys. Didn't I say I, I like it? I, I'm like, it's I'm different. in the UK. It's, it's, honestly, I <laughs> love London. It's different. Yeah. Obviously, people think we're mean girls, but we're just very direct. Yeah. We're not, we don't, I think with with a lot of places in America, the ones I can't speak for every state, but yeah. the ones I've been there's a there's every, there's a sprinkle of uh, glitter on everything. The, the rocks a bit. Oh, of glitter. LA is Who's like that. But but it's, like I mean, everything has, just has a bit of a pizzazz to it that doesn't okay, mean yeah, yeah, yeah. here we're very like it's a motherfucking rock. Yeah. It's stones. I will say, I will say, mm-hmm. I fuck with y'all style. Like I've been actually yeah. looking around. I'm a fashion person, so when I yes. look around, I'm looking at y'all clothes and I'm like. Damn, yeah. okay. Even yeah, the yeah. white people, I'm like, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, we give it to some of the I give Caucasians. it to some of the Caucasians. The, yeah, the white boys can't dress, though. No, we could dress. We could yeah, dress. I was giving that. that was and you guys are in Shoreditch, Soho. I believe. Yeah, we're in, yeah. We're in Soho. Soho. Yeah, that's where all, like, the fashionistas hang out. Like, Shoreditch side. East London, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, mm-hmm. East London side. That's where all the fashionista boys and girls are. So No, because they may, I feel like some people, like with too. our clothes, because me and Jazzy, when we wear clothes, we're going to wear, wear them. Wear clothes. Mm-hmm. But, like, some of them, are, like, they'll look. And at first, you'll be thinking, like, oh, you got, like, a problem with like, what yeah, I'm what wearing. But, no, at? they'll walk up and they'll be like, yeah, yeah, this, that. Like, it's always yeah. this. Yeah. Yes, that's what's that. <laughs> listen, we love a fashion. Listen, I'm I'm in my fashion girl era. I know like, that's I, right. I wasn't focused on like my style before, but I was just tired of wearing black all the time. It's not everyday black. Listen, ain't nothing wrong, wrong with black. There's nothing wrong with black. Wrong with black. But I get you want to throw some color in there yeah, sometimes. I mean, before, you want to express yourself. Thank you. I wanted to do. I mean, the, like look at the chocolate skin. Like imagine <laughs> on the colors of the red. What <laughs> color do you like the most on your like skin complexion? Coral blue. blue, coral blue. Oh. That's my oh. color, guys. That's a color. That's, that's a color. Yeah. I love that look. But guys, what is the difference? Talk to me about the difference f- 
that you find living in America and yeah. then coming here? What do you see that's a bit different? The fucking time zone is disgusting. Oh, that time <laughs> zone is shit. It's a little funky. We're still, I'm gonna be we're still in the U.S. time zone. Like it's been very hard for us, even though we've been here for a while. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's been hard to adjust. Really, really bad. It really hard, and I feel like also. I'm confused by y'all chips and yes. shit. Okay, no, because I know the difference. It's a fishy one that we tried, no. and it's a it's so not like chips. So like, what y'all chips. saw was a green Lay's chips. Yeah, no, but no, fuck that. Why we have to keep paying for each sauce that we want? Like, I went to a McDonald's <laughs> or I went to the fish and chips place, and I was just like, oh, can I get this? They're like, oh yeah, it's gonna cost you like one pound each sauce. So I'm like. I mean, we're going through an inflation at the moment, yeah, so like cost is of good. living is quite bad. Yeah, so I like we have ketchup. to pay for the. Wait, sauces. you didn't have to talk about the fish and chips because now I want. Some. I just wanted the ketchup from the fries. Yeah, y'all fish and chips chip. is good. I'm not gonna That's, lie, the fish and chips banging, and the chips is different. This, yeah. it's like, I keep saying French fries, and y'all keep looking the fries, at me like fries. Fries for you guys, you call like French we fries. We call it chips. Skinny, but I know, but I keep thick, saying French fries. <laughs> no, I don't. We don't even call it French fries. Everything is chips here. Are you? My my friend told me what deception. Wait, what? Wait, he lives here. Deception. I <laughs> I don't. We I've never gone to McDonald's and be like, can I have fries? We don't say it. Can we have chips? And then it doesn't matter what length or capacity it comes in. It's just oh, chips. Oh yeah, Wait. no. I'm, yeah, okay. Wait, hold you on. I got a quick question. Because yes. what y'all take away? Like, take out, take <laughs> away? <laughs> yeah, I'm take saw, I saw that and I was like, Okay. Well. <laughs> so, we obviously, we call the takeaways dependent on the country. Okay. Okay. Even though it's all been gentrified because the people in the actual countries don't even eat that food. But we have like a Chinese takeaway mm. or like a Thai takeaway mm. or like an Indian. Do you not call your stuff that? Take we out. say take out. Take out. But do you you would have an Indian takeout or a Chinese takeout. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I, that, when yeah. I saw takeaway, I was like, why? What, what are we, what taking, are we taking away? away? Like, <laughs> we're taking it away from the restaurant. No, That's I'm taking it stealing. out the restaurant. No, like if, y'all saw y'all trying to steal. Right. Like, tell me the truth. I knew y'all was some thieves in here. <laughs> I heard about y'all. I heard about what y'all. And then you tell me that you. No, no. It sounds like some. It does sound like some stealing <laughs> shit. No, it's taken away. Cause what's gonna? No, what's Christopher Columbus? Yeah. Well, uh, the one that colonized you guys. Well, oh. now what? The well. Native Americans was actually a British man. Yeah. So I think we should respect the English, of course, takeaway minority language. You don't and feel understand. some type of way about takeaway. No, that is the original British. You don't want to say takeout. It's not take. Why, take why out are we just take sound cute. Like, 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 yeah, can I get a take out? Let me take you out. Yeah, like take out. Can take I get out. a take out? No, you that's not like a take out because we're eating at home. Wait, so if I'm but like, I'm taking wait, it out on. the restaurant, like you're taking it away. The mm. wait, I have a question. If I'm like, yo, let me take, you, like I'm like, yo, let me take you <laughs> out. Okay. Do y'all say <laughs> let me take you away? I'm thinking I, if somebody tell me that I'm thinking we about to go on a trip. Yeah, I'm about to get flew out. Going out the country or something. Being taken out means that we are leaving <laughs> the house and the food is supposed to be eaten within the house. So it's a take away because we're taking it away from the restaurant. I'm sorry. Well, you taking me away, where are we going? <laughs> right. So where are we like, going? The Maldives. Where are we going? Take it out is take it out is like let me take you out. I saw the right. takeaway and I walked in the, there and I was like, "Where y'all taking, taking away? Me? Where are you taking me? <laughs> where are you taking me? I want to know." Because I'm taking out with the it's food. Not the same and you're thing. booking my flight. You pay it's for take me. Away. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's wait. Like, how about that? <laughs> Actually, you know what really grinds my gears? Go on. <laughs> the sizes of like the foods and stuff here because I know everything in America makes me feel so big but the fish is yeah, y'all Starbucks food. pissed me off so bad oh, what no no you gotta tell them no, about it you go gotta go tell them no. about it no, do go. you know okay so a venti here mm-hmm. why is my venti here I'm paying a venti size that's America and it's right here because we don't want to die of diabetes it's not about that di- first of all no you guys y'all have everything want to. sweet I'm sorry everything <laughs> is too everything sweet that you guys have here is so sweet really it gives yes. di- like, like my chest just be itching so bad it gives diabetes sorry it gives diabetes <laughs> It gives diabetes down. And I'm just so confused. Like the black currant juice, why is the light? Cause you know, it's like Diet Coke. The Diet Coke is obviously gonna be sweeter mm-hmm. than a regular Coke. But the fact that your regulars are already sweet and then the lights or the diets is like taken to a different level. It's like sweet, sweet, sweet. Mm-hmm. Cause we use like a specimen. But to no. be honest, <laughs> the sizing, the size in now. America is ridiculous. This is like, we actually care about How? the health. 
if oh, I want, we have a we have a small, medium, or large. No, you no, choose. But, no, the 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 medium out mm, there. Yeah, is it's a, a medium. large a medium. No, no, I swear nah. to God, your large. Here, like, Why I get fish and chips and my fish was this big? Okay, the fish is different. Leave the fish, <laughs> leave the fish alone. The chips was about this big too. <laughs> did you no, get but large? I mean, it, no, we are regular, but it did cost. It was worth the price. It, it, was, did, it, it was a little worth. It was worth a large. Like one thing, we gonna be a little cheapy cheap. Like the McDonald's medium out there is like a large. Here, yeah, your know. large like who sit like who sits and has a liter of Coke in one sitting. When, American. I don't Later. do that. I, I drink well, I don't water. Drink I drink water. I don't drink that. I, I don't drink soda or no. Do you know? Why I don't do that. I'm. I, well, I was raised on drinking like Kool Aid and, and mm-hmm. soda and all this type of stuff, but I prefer water. I just don't really like. If I'm drinking like drink drinks, like you can mix me up with a little like something, something. Okay. But like um, on a regular basis, I like water. Yeah, I don't even like mixed drinks like that at all. I love mixed drink, you know. Like, I only drink that, white wine tequila shots. I'm a shots person. Yeah, tequila shots. Like I'm a tequila whore. Wait, why y'all don't like tequila here? That's yeah. a no, real love question. Tequila. No, and y'all, y'all don't, don't got y'all don't got like the Casamigos. No, here. there's Casamigos. Where? I've been looking. They, Only y'all Patron. don't have it. You guys need to. Let me know where you're going. Well, why because didn't you hit me up the day I got <laughs> Right. I didn't you even know you, you didn't tell me you should've you should have been like, yeah, Joyce, I'm know. I'm down. Like nah. I'm here. Honestly, anyone who's this is this, if you're from the States yeah, and you're coming to London, please message me because I'm fucking tired of Oh no, I'm coming page. back and when I come back, I'm sorry. You yeah. told me to hit you up, I'm hitting you we up. We are getting licky licky. I'm trying to be we with We going niggas. outside? Yes, we yeah. We going outside. Outside. Yes. I'll, I'll be a motherfucking chaperone. Listen, I know where all the box You gonna be grinding on the wall? Yeah. <laughs> the fact you hear the, the seats creaking loud. It's crazy. It must be it's our hands it's up. Us basically, quietly. No, this is this is the joke here. So basically, when I went to LA, yeah, I got so licky licky. Mm. However, you take that. Obviously, we're not going to talk about what we had right. <laughs> because obviously the sponsorship and that in it. But just now, I was licky licky. I was licky licky, and I got so waved, yeah. That I thought, you know, like when you're leaning on the wall and you're trying to be cool and stuff. Like I was trying to be cool. Posted up. And I posted you up, and then obviously it got from that <laughs> leaning. Then obviously, but the DJ, can I just say, big up DJ Baji? Yeah, he was. So, the DJ was so good that I was just at the wall, yeah, and I was just like, hey, 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 no, no. <laughs> Girl, throwing it back. No. God, no. The wall was controlling the wine. Just no. Like, just, no, it was crazy. No, I'm going to be honest. One thing about the wall, they just gonna, it's going to sit there. Yeah. It's going to be long It's going to be sitting yeah. And it's, it's going to hold it's on. It's going to hold you. And it's yeah. going to respect it. Girl, it's going to respect it, hold me right? down. Like, don't and know what's going on. Motherfuckers, no, because other motherfuckers, they're going to be falling and right. creeping and stuff the like that. The wall is stable. It's loyal. Oh, wait. Also, <laughs> quick question. Talk to me. You want to go outside with us, right? You got knees? You got mega knees. Yeah, you got knees. Cause one thing about us, us we, we got, got knees. knees. I got knees. And, and that's when I'm uh, the honestly, I got knees. Both. I'm gonna be honest, Jazzy. I'm gonna I call you knees. out too. But when we lit, we lit, lit. When Jazzy lit, lit. Sometimes her knees be crippling. No, 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 no. What? No, I'm gonna say my knees. No, my knees be crippling when I'm lit, lit. No, but I but can there's do been it. A, there's been a few occasions where I had to catch you and be there's like, there's been All a lot right, of occasions where I had to catch you. Okay, I'm just okay. <laughs> okay now what? <laughs> I have knees. But now going down. Yes, the down bit to stay down. As you start coming up, that's when the knees start. Oh, you say? Yeah, I said, hold on. No, no wait. Like, you say, help me. Help me, help me the and then when it starts coming up, it's just like, okay, cool. But I've got knees. I literally, when I'm really drunk here, yeah, like, for example, normal day, walking up the stairs, I don't have the stamina for that. The legs are, but if Afro Beats is coming with kid, the knees start activating, and you're just, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's always the end. <laughs> Yo, that's it. That's what we're gonna oh do. Oh my god, y'all such aunties. I'm t- oh. honestly, I'm telling you very much. But guys, <laughs> I want to just open a question. First of all, yeah, we're, we're gonna talk about some social media tidbits. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> oh god. I wish I actually watched this podcast because what a hot cracky mess. So I, I'm, I'm sorry if I butchered this woman's name, but Di- Danaea Jackson, a.k.a. Miss Bonnet of Salvation, who was married to disgraced pastor Derek Jackson, recently admitted that Derek had cheated on her over a hundred times. She admitted to comparing herself to the woman he would cheat with 
and watch explicit videos of him with these women to try to emulate them. She oh. also revealed that she had been abused close to when she met him and only married him because she was pregnant. So I don't know if you saw this whole fiasco with Derek Jackson, who is an American relationship expert. No, nah, you put me on. I, yeah. I really? Didn't no, nah, we know that we like. He's this relationship guru. Mm -hmm. And um, basically there was some tea that came out last year that he was cheating on his wife. And then I believe the mistress came out or something. And then he did this apology video mm. where basically him and his wife were together. She came to wear one, one bonnet and no makeup. Can I just say, every time a woman does an apology video, it's always no makeup makeup and bonnet like that's just the apology video like aesthetic Not like the bonnet. and she was like i'm gonna stick beside my man and he was like yeah i'm really sorry we're working through a hard patch and da, 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 da. a couple months later he then divorces her so Ooh. she's now come out on a podcast and is basically spilling the tea saying that he had already cheated on her prior to them getting married multiple times Oof. um that she was watching videos of him having sex with other women to try and embody what they were doing so she could be a better wife. Um, a lot of hot, hot mess. And then on top of that, he also was the one that, he divorced her via text. What? Yes, he divorced her via text. But I think why people are so shocked is that this guy's whole brand was- Is relationship. But that is always relationship. happens. Like it's always- yeah. The men that always want to give advice on relationships, meanwhile, they're always... I mean, there literally was a therapist that was like... I mean, I feel like in regards to, like, someone's profession, it doesn't mean that they're the best person in the world. Because yeah. I literally yeah. saw on TikTok um, a therapist screaming about how he was sick of people... Um, coming to him about, like, these problems when it's like, well, get your shit together. Yeah. And it's like, you're a therapist. You right. you would think that the therapist would be a little bit more sentimental Compa about yeah, yeah, But, like, yeah. it shows that it doesn't matter what profession you in, a, a human is a human. They're yeah. going to react like every other person. A pastor can preach, of course. But that don't mean no, but his one was bad because he was teaching women how to avoid certain men. Basically the the man that mm -hmm. he was, he was like, "Oh, you know, you should like this guy, he's a fuck boy, you need to leave him alone. You're a queen." You know all that. Let's call it you're a queen content because I've been seeing it around like yeah. Yeah. you're a queen content. Now I know I might think I know who he is. You know who I'm just talking about? You said that. Yeah, yeah. The, you're a queen content. Where they go around and they're like, yeah, you know, you don't deserve to be yeah. cheated on. If he's, if he loves you, he won't do this yeah. to you. This is how you're. you're I feel yeah. like low key, I would look at him and I'd be like, well, how you know that? You never did it, so how you know that men be acting like that? The thing is, we don't ever ask any questions yeah. these days. Like everyone, everyone is self. Is, I, be, is self I feel like I ask questions for myself. Everyone is self-qualified on the internet. Like, you could just be like, yeah, I'm qualified in this. And we'll be like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, literally, we don't ever ask any. It do be like We that. don't it actually do. ask any questions. But yeah, it, honestly, one thing I love, I love the fact that she's coming out and she's just kind of being honest about it. Because I feel like, mm. like when you're in a relationship, you a lot of women go through all these like really, really traumatic situations and they just kind of keep quiet about it and don't say anything. Mm -hmm. I think that that's, I think... In regards to like her, I think that's obviously good that she's like talking about it and feeling how she feel. I just think that that part of her like she was watching yeah. the videos and like imitating yeah. that's kind of sad because it's like very sad. W you get to a point where you feel like you got to do all that, mm -hmm. then you should not be in that relationship anymore. No. You shouldn't have to imitate another person. Like mm -hmm. if a person loves you, they love you for you. Like, yeah. have you guys ever had any like cheating experiences or have been cheated on? in past relationships? I've never been cheated, no. Have you cheated? I've never cheated. N none? No. God, am I the only one with a very, like, toxic... Because, <laughs> bitch, you are toxic. <laughs> we already <laughs> went through... <laughs> <laughs> we went through this. We went through this. I've been cheated on, like, twice. I'm just like... Yeah, no. I just feel like, with me, I put my foot down, and I guess my personality, also, when I talk to people, is so dominant yeah. that... They can't step o like all over me at mm -hmm. all. I won't allow that. So if I see something I don't like, I'm like, oh, bye. And I stop that shit. See, we were having this conversation a couple weeks ago because yeah. I was saying how I wish I could be that woman because honestly, I'll cry and stay. Like the fuck. I feel like Which, in regards yeah. to that, I feel like in regards to that, like when you're in a relationship with a person that is like that. I mean, I've never been in that, but I feel like yeah. in regards to like when situations happen in your relationship, with me, I'm a. I'm a person that I'll stick by you. Like I'm gonna just be like, yeah. okay, bet. Like yes. let's just see, let's keep progressing. Let's try to figure this out. Let's try to do. But I feel like with me, it gets to a point where I'm just like, I can't 
keep doing you can't this. you can't keep getting violated That's, listen yeah. i feel like sometimes i see people's threshold and i'm like how the fuck have you stayed for this long yeah. like even in this case of this situation Love. he had already cheated so many times yeah, before she got listen, married to him. I'm sorry. I'm going to say it. Love is literally like, for some people, some people don't care about it. But mm-hmm. like, when you love somebody, like you love somebody and you're going to stick by them in regards yeah, to that. And it's, it's annoying. It, it is annoying yeah. because finding a soulmate out here, it's hard. Like, mm-hmm. it's not going to be something that you like walk past every single day. But I feel like in regards of like, when you do find um, that person, even when they do something that just like, fuck, like, <sighs> I guess I you know, know we'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna stick is. beside him. No, that's me. Yeah. You're literally reading yeah. my love story. Like yeah. that's me. Like I'm I'm a proper diehard. It's just like with me, I feel like if I like you, like you, my actions speaks like louder. I'm like mm-hmm. an action person. So anybody can talk their shit, this, that, and a third. But I'm all about like then show it and just do it for me yeah. so yeah no i my love language at one point was words of affirmation but i had to change very quickly very really? quickly the thing is, oh go ahead I mean, i'm sorry no you no, go ahead we're like, no. please let's get into that combo no because i feel like okay i don't know about everyone's but i'm the type of person i like doing stuff for you yeah like yes. i'll like clean up for you i'll wash your laundry so like, I'll yeah, 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 you. yeah i'll yes. do active active service. service down that's me that's me <laughs> so mine is quality time that too I love quality. Yeah, Qual- quality. Okay, time. I'm, I, I can do quality time. Access I can do. Service. I can do. I can do. I used to date someone that that did access service, but I think qu- quality time, just being around you. Yeah. And but sometimes though, yeah, to a certain extent, I'm sorry. Yeah, because we're I the like, same in that aspect. Like, yeah. it's like we. And it's funny <laughs> because she kind of gets me when I'm just like, all right, I, need, I, need I need my space. It's like I would want to be around you. I love you. I want to be around you, but. Also, let me have my space and my time to that's think. That's a very important thing in a relationship. Yes. That's a very... In regards to, like, an Aries, like, if anybody wondering how you did an Aries, like, you got to give them some space. <laughs> well, with me... What do you mean by space? Like, Not in regards space, of just, like, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to go... I, I, like, literally, while we was here, like, I'm with her and also my friend Joe, who's not here or whatever, but, like, we literally, like, we're all hanging out and stuff like that. And then she went to sleep. He went to go check up on her. And I just went for, like, a long-ass walk by myself, just chilling, listening to music. Like, mm-hmm. it's not, I'm, I'm out, out here fucking running around doing crazy shit. I just want to, like... Be yourself. I want to yeah. be by myself. Self-isolate yeah. for a little bit. Yeah, just self-isolate. I think I need to learn that, honestly. Yeah, clingy. <laughs> we, we, you did it. say it. We addressed it. I think <laughs> I love, I love, do you know what? I have friends that, like, mm-hmm. I can understand the personal time. Mm. by yourself but I literally have friends that will come to my house and just exist in my space so we're not necessarily speaking you're doing your thing like you know where the fridge is you know where the plates are but we're just in each other's space and honestly we can sit down and say nothing for like four or five hours that's a real friend that's a real friend but that's the type of quality time I like oh yeah I like that too though no you can be like that Mm -hmm. with some friends like you can literally just sit there. I'm sorry, I face on some of my friends and I'm literally just sitting on like I'll be face on her sometimes and I'm literally just sitting there and she's just like she literally cooking or watching something or something like that and we'll look at the camera and we'll be like, What? And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then we're like, Yeah, anyways. Anyway. Like it's it's okay to like have I think I don't know if people are used to those friendships where you don't really need to be on 10 all the time because mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people feel like in friendships or even in relationships you need to be on 10 all the time like it's okay to calm that yeah. shit down Agreed. Like, you can just be chilling like you don't gotta be all like I, I feel like yeah, I get exhausted no, 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 oh yeah gosh. seriously my social battery my social battery I swear to god I will give you three hours of the best time of your life after that <laughs> don't speak to me after that I'm tired I mean that's how he it's like we always have a switch it's either I'm up or he's down or it's like vice versa we're yeah. both up mm-hmm. so when people are usually hanging around us they're always like oh what's wrong with Tyshawn because I'll be like oh da 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 but he'll just be chilling and they're like chilling. what's wrong everybody with think I'm and upset then, I'm like I'm yeah. not upset I'm just relaxing and they do no, it to, to me. me too so I get, like, the, I get the same thing when it's like oh like cause when you're usually the crackhead friend and you're always yeah. like oh my god oh my god oh my god, I- oh my god. Like, and then you actually have those moments where you're, like, very, quiet. like, quiet. They'll be like, oh, yeah. God, what's wrong? What's wrong? It's just, I'm just absorbing that environment. Because yeah. I'm like, yo, ain't nothing wrong. Like, I'm, I'm just good. chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Like, you can actually just chill with your shades on exist and just be chill. It's not every day you do the rah, rah, rah. I do have a question for you. Talk to me. So what, like, I want to know 
your experiences with your friendships, like your ups and downs, like the nitty gritty tea. Like what was like mm. some shit that you looked at your friends at one point like I'm, t- I'm oh, over these bitches. Get into it. I've really suffered with friends, you know. Oh, it's okay. Everybody suffers every, with friends. Every, like, it's a thing. It's a common thing. It's a thing. I've suffered with friends. But how, how are you the person in regards to, like, when it gets to that point where it's like, okay. Nah, but I want to know, though. Yeah. Again, I'm very used to I feel like once I let you into my space, yes. mm-hmm. I am a diehard. I will die and ride and I'm rock the same for way. you. I'm the same way. So there's a lot of things that I will just let go. Oh, you sound like me. Oh my me. gosh, you do yeah, something like us. let oh, it slide yes, and slide. Sir. Because it's just that, mm, that's this man. It's okay. Like, yes. you'll be angry. But I think the last straw for me when I really changed my thing like, happened in the midst of a breakup with a, with a guy. Yeah. And basically, like, my best friend at the time was the one that introduced us. And me and him, we fell in love. Like, obviously, this is my babe, my six pack honey. Like, Not your six pack really, honey. really <laughs> fancy him and stuff. Ooh. Mm, I know that's right (laughs) like I really fancied him like and then I came to find out obviously when me and him were in a relationship that she had sucked his dick in the past your friend I thought she said oh my god I thought she said in the park no in the past (laughs) I'm not sure where it might have been in the park like I mean that's that's regular like here in the UK we've been sucking in the park they do yeah I'm not surprised the the alleyways I know the alleyways too yes of course you can we go we go go again but yeah so she sucked his dick Mm. and then I found out by my man Mm. and then basically me and her stopped becoming friends. We came back together. I forgave her. And then along the line, me and Mr. Man broke up because he said he was still in love with his ex after he cheated on me. And obviously the ex does makeup. She's like some MUA. She, she wasn't a good one, but she did her best. <laughs> She's Ooh, so shady. Okay. She did her best. She's so shady. So yeah, <laughs> it got to the day of my birthday and we all went to an event. Mm. And um, my best friend had a hotel room and I had a hotel room and oh, then I decided no. to go up to a hotel room and found Please the no. ex-girlfriend doing my friend's makeup. So the ex-girlfriend of my ex was doing my best friend's makeup and she didn't tell me. That's, that's me. So it was just such a messy motherfucker situation. But I feel like now, because of that situation, I've been really like closed. I, I'm, I was a lot more closed off when I first than I'd ever been when it came to friendships. Yeah. Now I like to just keep my friends small. So I have like yeah. three or four besties. Oh, people I, love to throw that word around. I don't yes. throw that word. I don't, I don't, it's true. I don't really. By three or four besties, I mean like two of them is like my sister. Yeah. So. It takes a minute oh, for me to be. My best friend. Yeah, Dude, literally. That's my other bestie. Yeah, literally. Thank you. But yeah, friendships are so hard. Friendship heartbreak is the worst. Oh. And no, trust and believe me, I'm so sorry, but like, <laughs> friendship friendship breakups is literally like it is the hard worst it is hard because I feel ever. like with me as like how I am when I'm really close to a friend I like actually make sure they're good I know I have my I literally call myself out in regards to like when I have my moments mm-hmm. I'm doing too much or whatever because I'm like I be, you know, I be at my 10 sometimes yeah. and I know that it can be hard sometimes, but like, I love my friends and I appreciate them and I want to see them succeed and do the best and I'm always rooting for them. So yeah. when we lose that, it's just kind of sad. Hard. What about you, Jesse? <sighs> I've been through a lot and I just feel like over the past, obviously when you're like a teenager, I feel like my whole personality and how I treat people has changed and I understand a lot of people don't get my humor and I'm very straightforward and so blunt so I know now like growing up I have to filter certain things and I'm just like okay treat people how you want to be treated so that's what I always like stood by but I don't know I've been going through ups and downs with my friendships a lot yeah but especially I'm at the point of my life that I'm like I treat everybody make sure everybody is good and I deeply deeply care for people that I'm always the comfort person in like our friend group if something's always going down they always come to me or if they need to tell me something personal I'm that type of person and I don't mind that I love that they don't really do the same for me or when they come to check on me to make sure I'm doing okay and I'm just like it's not something that I would complain and tell them that it's just something that I've noticed that I'm like okay but I'm like you come to me when you have a problem which is great I'll be there for you but it's Mm -hmm. not like you're like are you actually okay Jazzy and it's just like "Mm, that hasn't really happened too much besides like him and like a few 
other friends, but I'm sorry, I don't know. When she be having her moments, I'm like, okay, yeah, no. you good? You need yeah. some space? Yeah, but I don't okay. know. I just feel like they also take advantage, like, yeah. of my kindness and how yeah. caring yeah. I can be. Re- really? Like, over the past few years, I've realized that, and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Right now, I'm getting over it. And it's like, mm-hmm. literally, at this point, like, I have been talking to him about it. I'm just like, I'm tired of the... The back and forth. The back and forth when it comes to, like, friends and stuff. It's just like, I got you, but also... Don't put me in your mess or use me yeah. and treat and like take all my energy away, suck the life out of me, take my energy, and then it's just like, mm, okay, yeah. I want to do what I need to do. Go. I was, and, and, yeah. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I was just gonna say something real quick that my therapist told that told me that I kind of like since then since she, since she since she told me that I kind of like carried that in regards to my friendship, but I feel like a lot of people don't realize that they put a friendship or like a friend on like a high pedestal. Like you don't know what level you are with your friends versus like what level they put you as. Yeah, so true. you could be like, that's my bestie, that's my bestie. And they could be like, that's my friend, that's my yeah, friend. Yeah, it's true. And you don't know. And and I think that's where some people kind of lose it because once they find out or they go through a situation with their friend where they realize that they weren't as high or yeah. at a point with them that they thought they was, it fucks one of them up. And it's like, well, I thought you knew that. You know what I mean? So I feel like it's sad to say, but it is true. Like, everybody don't put each other it's on the true. same level. It's actually Everyone true. don't. I think it's really disappointing. And something that Jazzy was saying in terms of, I don't think it's a bad thing yeah. to be heavily invested into your friendship yeah. and to and to be in your friend's mess. But yeah. I think the problem with what you're saying in terms of hierarchy is that it's not reciprocated. When it's not reciprocated, it's so heartbreaking because yes. someone you want someone that can go through the mud with you. Like yeah. my best friend Cash, like that's my sister. Like we suffered together as in that's someone that we that I call her my rough rider. Yep. We str- when I mean struggled. Like yeah. there's nothing this girl doesn't know. Like there's nothing that there's like you know you have your friends where you meet, your obviously life is good now and it's like, yeah. But then you have that friend that when you're in the dungeon, in yeah. the like that's cash. And I would do that for her and she would do that for me. Yeah. And I feel yeah. like that's when a friendship becomes beautiful. Not you constantly trying to help and give yourself away and give your energy and then when it's time for you it's like oh well it's supposed to hear that prayers prayers sorrow sorrow do you know what i mean yes it's just (laughs) like and it's crazy because like basically like how you describe your friendship with cash i just feel like the type of person i am like i like i care for everybody deeply so when i do talk to somebody i want i want to form that connection with somebody that it can be like that. Yeah. But it's, hard it's just, it's like hard. It's like now, like I used to be very, very closed off. Like yeah. I said before, I'm like humans, uh. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm just like, actually, you know, I can give people a chance. I'm actually like, like a people person. person. So, but it's just, they just be doing stupid shit all but the time. This and I'm is just also, like, this is the also hell? the thing though. I feel like a lot of, in our generation, like I feel like a lot of people don't know the difference between a real friendship and a party friendship. Yes. A party friend and a real friend. Like, it's the truth. Like, I think some people look at a party friend and just like, they're my bitches. Like, they're ride for me, whatever. When you doing all this, that shows that like that right there in the friend. If you just like, yeah, like that's my friend. Like you can yeah, say no. at a calm level. You don't need to be all like, that's my bitch. Like they're rough yeah. for me, but you don't. Especially in this industry. You like in yeah. the entertainment industry here, you get a lot of these. Like, hey, turn it up, shot to the healer, tacky, 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 come. Yeah. yeah. Like you get a lot of that. But in terms of someone that you can be vulnerable with and you can be open with, it's you need to really, really a be lot careful. Of people. You do. Oh, whew. You LA? Really do. You really do. Ooh, LA. I didn't like LA, you know. I was gonna it's ask okay. you. <laughs> Why do you think I won't move there? I won't I move can't. there. I like I will my never. shit ghetto fabulous. Like I like <laughs> ghetto fabulous. I like yes. a nice in between of bougie but with a dash of But ratchet. you wanna know what's so crazy? Um like, you know, one of our mutual friends, um, Tati, she she you know, sometimes she's over that lifestyle that yeah. she would want, like, you know, the black hood ghetto yeah. thing that she's like yeah they can do those house parties she's like I'm going to the club I so she like, be going to like but I feel like low key with her she's kind of searching for something in LA and, that yeah. she wants to do I but feel she like has that's her friends I feel like she, she, she has, has her people yeah. there but obviously everybody in LA is just I just thought it was too glossy for me I thought everybody <laughs> was too like, no was, wait no go ahead no keep going cause I was gonna be like mm-hmm. that's the truth cause yeah, I feel like with too, it it's like, too much and bougie and it's like I just kind of thought it was too like this white. Whole, like it's too white 
No, I'm gonna be honest with. I feel like with LA, it's very about like I'm gonna be truthful. Like it's about the white influences there. Yeah. It really okay. is. Like it's really about the white influence, and I feel like. Um, I was talking about this um, a minute ago. I feel like in regards to New York, I'm like a lot of the influencers are not out there, and I feel like that's where a lot of them could come together and really make in New York, New York like something. I want to go to New York so bad. Yes, you I wanna, would love I wanna, it. I want to see what the creator space is in New York so bad because I feel I'm like so creative when I'm there. Yeah, like You'll actually, like mentally, like I feel like when I'm there, I want to party, but I also yeah. want to work. Like, work. It's the environment. I think. It depends because LA is part. That's like party life. Everybody's going out to eat the club. That's like their scene. I feel sushi. like New York <laughs> sushi. You catch, catch, catch steak. But um, in New York, everything's so fast paced that everybody has to be somewhere, mm -hmm. and everybody is grinding. So when he comes there, he feels that energy. He's like. I like this place because everybody's networking. Yeah. You can party and network at the same time that yeah. you don't have to worry, but still have fun. That you're able to have those connections where, like, in LA, it's like you can meet people. It was like, yeah, um, we should totally hang out after this. Oh, they oh, don't no. know you. Me, not. Meanwhile, they'll see you at another party. Like, oh yeah, they'll introduce themselves. That happens so many times. Oh my like, god. Like, you'll meet somebody you meet someone, yeah. in LA, and then they're like, oh hi, what's your name? And it's just like, oh my name is Ada. Nice to meet you. You'll chill, chill with them a bit. And then there'll be another party. They'll introduce themselves again as if they never met no, you. No, sorry. Can I just say something? Yeah, I do that all the time. But listen, if we meet first time and I'm on the tacky tacky, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, That's what I, I just, say. That's like, what I it's say. Actually, it's it's actually okay to intention. say that though. If you're drunk, be like, okay. I'm so sorry, I'm drunk. But I'm like, no, no, if no. It happened when, too if, many if, times. If you, if you met them like after when you said that or whatever like yes. that then that, that's when you can just I be, be straight up I be forgetting people's faces all the fucking time like and it's like there's sometimes I'll meet people like two or three times maybe like, it's like, nice a, to meet you that's it's not, not my everybody fault thing. Honestly, that's not everybody it's, it's not even trying to yeah. be bougie like if I met you before I'm like yo what's good but if I can't remember if, if it doesn't hit me straight away yeah I'm like oh my god nice to meet you but I'm sorry there's some people come on guys like we met fucking two years ago on a fucking night out or whatever and then they're like then oh you don't different. remember my face I remember Girl. them I my like memory no my memory is You're like if you, sharp. If you, he knows. If, if you leave like a stamp, I'm just like, oh shit, no. I remember you. I, yeah, if it's a significant conversation, yeah. you know, lips or something, okay, cool, I might remember you. you know if it's like lips? a quick, like, hey, how, how you doing? Like, if it's something like too subtle yeah, like that, like, I'm not, hey, if, yeah. if, I'm on, if I'm definitely on go time too and you talking to me like that, I understand. Where I was just like, I can't, no. I don't remember. <laughs> no. I actually <laughs> want to bring this question back up because I said we're going to talk about it on the camera. Word. You said that you don't like the way UK people feel. Flirt, and I want you to explain. <laughs> you gotta explain yourself. I'm sorry. Okay, I don't like the way. So obviously, I'm single. <laughs> ah, we outside. Like I'm for single real. for real. I know that's right. But I feel like. Um, okay, so I've been approached. I've been approached by girls and guys. Yeah, I've been approached. Same. Um, and it's y'all. Y'all just like y'all get like some guy was like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like winking at me like that. Some guy kept like I don't know remember last night, but it was a guy that kept like trying to get in between us dancing, and he was literally not. I wasn't feeling doing him, much. so I was just like, "What are you? What are you doing?" So he was just. And then literally, it was another guy that I remember <laughs> that was flirting with me, and then I was like, "Okay, yeah, yeah, cool." Nah, and I left crazy. to go get something to drink, and I came back. He was making, making out, out with, with a another whole black another black man. man. And then I was drunk. I was but like, wait, he got a fetish. He got a black wait, fetish. But wait, it's not even that. After he made out with the white man, I mean, the black man or whatever like that, I was like, I mean, I don't care. Like, whatever. And then I was literally just hanging out with my friend. I was dancing. She left and I was hanging out with my other friend or whatever. Yeah. And I was just like partying, dancing. And then he came up to her. Like, he just like ignored me and like went up to her. And apparently she was like, why was he talking about you the whole time? And then I was like, wait, huh? What did he say? And then as I was like doing my thing on the phone, because Beyonce song came yeah, on, nah. and I was like, Ugh. we were really on the phone. And no, he was like, yo, what's good? What are you doing after? And I was like, I'm good. I don't need no ride. Excuse I'm good. Me? I'm sorry. Like I'm, I'm the type of person. I'm just like, if you didn't impress me on the first round, like why would I be that invested? It, yeah. it, it doesn't take. I don't get invested fast either yeah. anyway. So like. I feel like when it comes down to somebody flirting with me, you gotta hit home run. So what is what is a good way of someone flirting with you to open up the conversation? I don't know. Like, they just gotta be smooth. You gotta be. With I'm it. sorry. With me, you gotta be smooth with her. You gotta be strong with me. Oh no, you gotta no. You gotta be smooth. You can be strong, but I feel like in what a you certain mean by way. Strong? Like he wants them on to be like, yeah, I want you. I like that too, but I just feel like. I like that too. Man. Yeah, you gotta be <laughs> like. You gotta walk up on me like I'm feeling you. Yeah, you look good as fuck. <laughs> Cause I'm like that too. So if somebody like me, I'm like, oh shit, okay, bro, you we on the same level. We have like different types, though. Yeah. My type is very like. Cause that means when like, we go in a room, we do it. 
<laughs> no. It's the same. It's it's really 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 <laughs> I like aggression too. I like a bit of aggression too. I, I like aggression, but my type is like very chill. So I I tend to like like the guy who's not gonna do too much. Like I guess like he knows about himself, but he doesn't have to show out. Like yeah. literally, like they can just like be chilling, and then once they see me, they're like, this. They give me a look, and I'm like, okay. And then just a look. No, it's just no, not. <laughs> No, 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 just a look, but no, not just it's a work, look, but um, like <laughs> <laughs> the morning. Just, just, like, no, just a look, no, it's just like a subtleness, but also a protectiveness too. They don't have to do too much, but it's just like yeah, like okay, good? bet. But I feel like nah. in regards to that, you just gotta be a little bit more. Just because I'm like, already too loud, yeah. you, you gotta, gotta hit it. You, you gotta, gotta hit it. it. You no. literally have to give it the four hundred with me because if not, like I'm like that too. You're not gonna feel it. Yeah, I gotta feel it. It's gonna be like oh, thank you. You can't be giving me the eyes. You know that like in 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 Britain, yeah. We do a lot of eyes. We do a lot yes, of eyes. Yes, yeah, I do. Yeah, no, y'all just oh like, my god, wait, hold on. Eyes. I'm sorry, but when it comes to me, I don't know what it is, but I've been talking to half of the people and they're like, I can't stare you in the eyes. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, eye why can't you? Because I make eye contact hard. So do it's you like have intense eye contact though. I mean, you looking at me right, right. now. Do you feel like I have intense eye eye contact? Because I feel like I, feel I don't. Like I feel like I'm I think chilling. You have strong eye contact. I feel like I just be chilling. Yeah. So I assume <laughs> that when like when somebody looking at me, I'm like I'm looking at them. I'm like, okay, what's good? You know when so I'm, I'm I'm not picked it up, but you know when someone when you're talking, somebody looks at you quite intensely, like with like in intensity. Yeah. And it's like, are you looking at me? Or are you looking into that, my soul? Yeah. No. Kind of a thing. Why do like, we like, always ask if yes. I'm looking in their soul? I'm like, like I'm not looking at your soul. I'm looking at me chilling. Or like sometimes. Sometimes you can look at people and you know as when when you're speaking you know they're thinking yeah, yeah. you have that face that i got that face like, too that face but i'm like, not when i'm listening like, to oh you God, I'm like are this. they judging me what is he thinking is, no is my, okay is my lips see, dry? That's let the, me quickly see, that's, that's the thing like, <laughs> if somebody walk up on me and they not if, if they don't say that to me i'm just like yeah. okay bet we feeling it yeah i'm we a going mess, yeah you have very, you have intense eye yeah. contact you have intense eye contact <laughs> you do <laughs> You do, but there's some people that can handle like that. I speak to a lot of people, so I can handle intense eye contact. Yeah. But I can, I'm aware of people that, like, your eye contact is quite soft. You have a soft eye contact. Your eye contact is quite intense. <laughs> <laughs> what? You do, but it's good. Sometimes it's good. It's like you're looking into my soul. Like, are you reading? Me? Wait, like, I'm sorry. I have a quick question. It, this is like way off topic, but I just have a quick question. No. So, so. <laughs> We was fucking around and we were saying like who looks like who gives Nikki and who gives Ice Spice. Like we was just <laughs> bored one day and we was both rapping Princess Diana Child, and okay. we was like, okay, who gives Ice Spice? Who's gives Nikki? Personality wise, in regards of like you being around <laughs> us and don't look at her because I feel like I know what you're about to say. But who gives Ice Spice and who gives Nikki? Child, Do you know what? I can't lie. I feel like she gives Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like she gives Nikki. You no, have, okay, this is the thing about you Ice Spice. You have dark feminine energy. <laughs> I do. She the has thing dark feminine energy. The I thing do. about Ice Spice, I love me some Ice Spice. Don't give me that. I, I love, love her. But I be fucking her. I literally be fucking around and I be telling Jazzy, I be like, why Ice Spice always look like she but don't want to be there? And she's, but she's a Capricorn. She's so chill, though. She's like, chill, She looks like she yeah. don't want to be there. So she's just like, yeah, okay. She's chill. But you want... You want loudness because Nikki is very much so like yeah like fuck out of here like what like what are you talking about Ice is like yeah like <laughs> <laughs> but she is actually yeah. mm, I mm. think why you're confusing is because she you speak very like cool tone yeah you you have a cool tone voice but you're actually very strong <laughs> oh you yo you don't even know you I don't made know. somebody <laughs> <laughs> like. But the way you the way you talk, like your Candice is yes. very chill. But I know you're not chill. But your Candice is chill. So I got it. So it's. Do you know what I mean? Am I wrong? I want to. But Chai Sean, you know when it comes to me, I've been I'm Nikki. very quick with it. I'm quick yeah. with it. So if somebody's gonna. I know gonna... Nikki is that th those no. some pointers on it. Listen, this is a this is a Bob station, you know. Are you fucking know, that's crazy? Right. That's my motherfucking mother. <laughs> As she should be. Yeah. That's Nikki Minaj, that's my motherfucking queen. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, but she just released. Wait. Let me Pound, just, what? <laughs> she did uh, Pound Town Two. I don't know if you heard that song. It's like, um, how's it go? It's like my booty home brown. Yeah, my booty home brown. Where the niggas? Yeah. Sorry. 
Can I ask you a very uh, you random question? I don't know the <laughs> Come question. on, ADHD. Yeah, yeah, I have no idea she what said. that song is called. All I, yeah, she <laughs> she said, I'm a sinner to you, Abby. All I heard is my booty hole is brown and it, I just thought of a pillar the wrong thing in my mind. I'm like, booty hole, what brown. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? So I was, I was on Twitter. I was on Twitter one day, yeah. and obviously the man them be talking in it, like they be making jokes between themselves. Mm. And um, there was a video, there was like a picture of, you know, a plum? Yeah. Like, but you know, like a plum has like this crease. I know what you about to say. <laughs> <laughs> it has this like crease in the middle of it, yeah. But the crease was white. And then somebody posted it and was like, man, them, if you know, you know, in it. And basically they were talking about like, obviously when they have sex with girls, yeah, and their bum hole is dry. But I never thought, I never, do you ever sit down and think, oh, is, is my, my bum, bum hole dry? Like, you know, like, your bo- like your booty crack. Mine's is not. And it has but like how would white. you know? Like, you know, like when, you know when black skin is dry and it has the white smart, the, yeah. the white, the white, the white <laughs> thing, you can, like, you can get that in your bum crack. Doesn't that make you think of all the times that you bent over and you're like, was my bum crack? I know dry. mine wasn't. How do you know? Because I know. Do I'm, you one thing about you, me, I moisturize. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, but do you moisturize inside your bum? Inside. It get think, ashy. Yes! Yeah, yours be getting ashy. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, your bum hole can get ashy. It can. I mean, it's still, it's skin. See? It's still skin. You gotta it's moisturize. Skin. Or else it will have like a white mark. Like obviously when your skin is dry, it gets white, you can have a white mark in, in your, your bum cheek. Yeah. I thought of every time that that could have now possibly happened. No, like, now I'm thinking about, I'm thinking back. Yes, and I'm like, yes, when I've seen yes, some ass and I'm like. See, it's a white, like a white. A but d- sometimes that is true. Cause, white. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm like, something not right. Where the color? Does white people get that too? Uh, no, white people don't get. I've never seen a white a, a white person who's ashy. No, they're, white people do get ashy. ashy. They do. They do get I've kind of seen it before a bit. It's just their, their skin just look very like Pale. patchy. Patchy. Oh patchy. yeah, yeah. It looks they super, get like, patchy. Pinky. Okay, cool. I've seen that. Like when when they get a bit patchy. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. But black people, when we get ashy, it's like white. But I was like white no. booty hole. Ashy That's funky. Hole. I'm sorry. That's a little funky. I, honestly, sorry. That was just a random fucking thought that but I just had you, But I can picture you looking at someone like, I was speaking about myself. Why well, I feel like she was the type of person to look that shit up on like, Pornhub and be like, let me look. I was Ashy. like, I'm, I do Google a lot though. I do Google, I do Google shit. Lot. Do you clear your Google search history or you keep that? Oh, no, you keep who, it on who private. Go, who gonna see that? I go on private. If I Google certain things, I have to private it because <laughs> it's bad vibes. Like, no one can see that. No one can see that. No, because I'm like, why are you going through my uh, my Safari? Like, click on that, go to Google. Because you know when somebody needs your phone, and you're like, oh, yeah, let me search something on Google. And then it's like the suggested of what you searched before. Oh, I don't automatically care. I'm code. just like, here. I clear my history. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> why would anyone be going for my... Your yeah, history, goodness. I feel like that's a little too no, much. But let's, no, but let's... No. Okay, I'll tell you a story, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's your story? Wait, let me... I actually have that. So, basically, I don't watch porn, Yeah. You I don't, don't. I don't watch porn. I don't want porn. I don't watch porn. But there was either. one. There was one day. Yeah, I nearly. I nearly watched porn. You don't watch Twitter. No, I don't. I don't watch it. I don't watch it. I mean, sometimes on Twitter they pop it up. Yeah. I'm just like the blood of Jesus. And <laughs> I just start looking past. But there was one time because I'm. I'm looking for the. Um, I'm looking for the screenshot because I sent it to my friend and it was so funny. There was one day um, that I decided to to watch porn. And I typed it in, hold on. <laughs> so basically, I was trying to do research on like, oh God. You go ahead, let it out. It's yeah. okay, let it out. Over-sharing Take always. a drink before you go, let it so out. So obviously, obviously like, you know what, you, what, we're trying to hone in on our skills and stuff like that. So yeah. I must have, yeah. I, I wanted to know how to be better at sucking dick in it. So I Googled how to suck It's okay dick. to say, it's okay to say you, yeah. you try to learn some tricks. Yeah, try to learn some tricks yeah. in it. She's looking at me like this bitch. <laughs> no, I I'm to, not. I tried to Google how to suck dick. Yeah. So I got to how to s- <laughs> And then it then went to how to study the Bible in three simple. <laughs> and I just said, okay, it Jesus. Caught you it caught you I said, Jesus is too. No, Jesus is uh, absolutely I said not. to God, look, it's, like, it's here. Look, it's like how to s- with no, the S. It. And it's like. How to three simple ways <laughs> in which the Bible. I said, God is teaching. I said, no. it's a sign. It's a sign. Hallelujah. Yeah, you don't have to learn by yourself. I well. said, you're going to learn on the job. You have to look up a video. Freestyle. Yeah, no, I was just trying to. I was going to say freestyle. Like, freestyle. Just, you, just, you don't got to. Go in the moment. No, no I'm sorry. Because. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. 
know if it's an airy thing, but I feel like no. we just know. He I feel, I feel like, I feel like it can't, it's not one size fits all, isn't it? We like, know. No. It's, it's, it's I feel like I've always si- known. It's not one size fits all. It's not one size. I don't. I feel like different men like different things. Yeah, but I feel like true. I feel like when you just know, you know, you know what I mean. Like, well, you're a guy, so just like, you're a guy. Yes. It's different. Oh yeah, true, you true, know, true, like true, you true. know how that feels. You know how to the mental capacity yeah. of the like. What's the us girls? We need a bit more education. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> This, <laughs> honestly, I promise you, this show is a lot more structured. I promise you. <laughs> I'm having fun. Yeah, it's a real. lot more structured. Like we probably have like segments and everything, but I'm, at the moment we're just freestyling it, and I fucking love it. Yeah. But guys, we are going to move on to word of the week. <laughs> What's the word of the mm. week? So word of the week is creativity. So oh, cool. in a digital age where more and more people are showcasing themselves online, mm. it can be daunting to put yourself out there. We've got some tips and tricks for those getting started in the creative space to elevate yourself on social media and your presence and to feel confident online so you guys are on the motherfucking internet <laughs> really no. i don't know <laughs> no i lied <laughs> mistake no you guys are on the i'm internet. on myspace i don't know what she's For talking real. about well that I, is the internet my, so i feel like they've even got rid of myspace no, they got rid of it they got rid of it i, I thought they did. brought it back what was though? your myspace name oh i didn't have a myspace i had a facebook i forgot mine was little buff j2 I forgot, little what? but my little, background. Little, little Buff J2. Buff. Little, little. Buff, like in, in the UK, Buff means sexy. Like if you're sexy, you're Buff, innit? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like Little Buff J2. Isn't it pe- like, I'm going to start saying that. Oh, you Buff. Day, we don't say that anymore. But oh. back in those days, it was Buff. I must have now said like that. Buff. Pink. Yeah, Little yeah, not Buff. buff. Like, but it wasn't like Buff. It was like Buff. That's I'm going to start saying that. Like you're Buff. So I'm little, like, imagine me going to somebody, you're Buff. They'd be like, Excuse oh, the like, fuck out of no, me. Imagine they like, ooh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So how do you navigate this creative space? How do you find the confidence to make the content that you do and and be amazing at it? Shit. I feel like I feel like with me, um so I started off as doing nursing. Like a lot of people don't know that, but I started off like in nursing school. Wow. Saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was getting ready to really be up there. I wanted to work next to the surgeons in regards of just like handing off the tools and all that type of stuff like that. And you know, I feel like as time progressed on, I saw I've always saw how social media can work in regards of just like elevating yourself and making money from it. But I never thought mm-hmm. with me that I could get into that space just because of being black like dark skin i'm sorry because i just did not see a lot of representation of like me in social media so i felt like when i tried to join it i just never thought that i could succeed in it so i feel like as time progressed on and i really gave it my all i start seeing different changes and i was just like okay bet like i can actually make something out of this and really like go far make my coins do what i gotta do and travel and stuff like that on top of that and you know, get to these places I never thought I could get. And I feel like with me, like, it took a lot, you know, with social media because I felt like even when I got into the spaces where um, you think you made it in regards of just, like, getting, like, influencer badges and all that type of stuff like that, like, at the end of the day, like, I think a lot of black people, a lot a lot of black people could probably, well, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to speak on them. I know for me, like, even when you get in those spaces, they don't, give you that like they don't give you that oh you made it they still treat you like yeah Yeah. they still treat you like that and it's like i feel like you have to have that in your head like oh i've done this thing like i really made something out of this and i'm gonna get to a like a bigger place in regards of it and i feel like with me i've just been like humble in regards to just like appreciating everything that you know i've been able to um be a part of and just yeah yeah. The alcohol is making me feel a moment. Yeah. No, it's making me <laughs> no, feel a moment. Yeah, but no, no, no. I really like, I don't, I don't really say it a lot, but like, I really appreciate everything that I get in regards to like, even you inviting me here to come to your, your podcast and stuff. I really appreciate that. Cause I know that like, yeah. it's just cool to see that everyone is representing each other and trying to push people in different lanes or trying to just like help people out in regards to certain situations. And I feel like, we don't see that a lot. Especially yeah. other black creators. Yeah, other black, yeah. black creators, yeah. yeah. So I feel like 
that's why I said that about LA. I feel like I wish it was a little bit more um, diverse, but I feel like it is diverse, but it's not diverse enough where as it should be. As it should it's, be. It's not. It's diverse, but it's not unified for me. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's one thing having black people in a space, mm-hmm. but it's another thing when you have black people working, working together. Yeah. I think with LA, you're you're absolutely right. I do see black people, but that place is one man for themselves. One I, man for themselves. I was going to say, I don't know if you've ever been to like, um, I, I feel like you've definitely been to events in LA, but yeah. I don't know if you just like, if there was a lot of black people in regards to being there, because when I go, I don't see a lot of us. And yeah. then when I see my black people, I'm just like, I'm Ooh, going over hey. there. Yeah, we go to that. I don't know how I ended up, well, obviously I know how, but like I end up circulating to being with them. It's just yeah. like, hey, bitch, you good? Like you, because it's it's like home. It's so much comfortable. Yeah. I like even I've been to some events and it's like it's like majority like like we basically called like the white space, the mainstream space, yeah. and they here. Yeah. And it's like when you go to mainstream events, like you really do feel sometimes out of place. Like you, like I feel like sometimes when you see another another black person, another person of color, it feels like home. It's like, yeah. oh, let me off this wig. Like, <laughs> like that's how it feels. Like you know yeah. when you remove your wig and it's like I'm me kind of a thing with yeah. another person. But also, I have another question for you guys. So what? In terms of your content, Mm -hmm. like where do you find inspiration to create your skits, to create your fashion stuff? Like where do you pick that from? Yeah, I I know for me, I pick my comedic side from like um, Martin Lawrence, James, um, James, (laughs) James, Jamie (laughs) Foxx, Jamie Foxx, Bernie Mac, like all the comedians, the great comedians, Kevin Hart, all them. And I feel like with my fashion, it's like it's like um, Naomi Campbell. All the greats, yeah. YSL, all Rihanna. the, all the, all the like. That's mother. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's for me. Like that's yeah. where I picked everything up. From. What about you? Humor, my family down. My family, I feel like everybody always has like that group. Like, oh my gosh, my family needs their own reality TV show because I yeah. feel like certain things that they just say is just so funny. But also, my aunt. She doesn't care about anything. She says whatever she wants, and she always, still to this day, has like that goofy, childish humor. Mm-hmm. And she was always the one to push me to be like, "If you want to do this, you're gonna do it." Oh, here we go. Oh, that cup is running on. Your tea's running on empty. How many? Oh. You're so cheeky. You're so cheeky. <laughs> this is the point where I start going slow. Mm-mm. Yeah, you just slow down. So, yes. <laughs> but yeah. So what's um, your what's your family down? How many of you? Are you mostly girls. Yes, so and there's only guys. one really um uncle. Only have one uncle, but everybody is all girls. Even your sisters, you got bad sisters. Yeah, how I have many? my sisters. So, well, I have two. My dad's side, I have more siblings, but I grew up with my mom. Okay, but um, I do have two sisters, but I'm the baby. Oh, fabulous! So, yeah, it's so interesting because I grew up with mostly girls. Yeah. I have. There's five of us, but there's four girls and one boy who's the youngest. And honestly, like, my family are pretty much crackheads. Yes. I get a lot of my humor from my family because they are just... I, I, is it funny or just insane? I really I think like they're just my, insane. Just because, insane group of people. Because honestly, I feel like sometimes with my friends, like... I'm not that I'm scared, but I'm like if I bring you around my family, that says a lot, and that's yeah. very important to me. But also, because you got me coming to the cookout. Yeah, but like, also I'm it's like how my what they just say is just crazy. Is, is your it's, family love language abuse? That's mine. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, like my sisters be telling me, "Girl, shut <laughs> the fuck up." Like, oh, I talked like that to my sister. Yeah, that's no, how we talk to each we other talk so aggressively. Yes, like, people outside, yeah, like, like, <laughs> like my little brother, for example. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, Elijah, how do I look at this straight? He'd be like, yeah, you look great, but your belly looks big, though. Oh, my God. Oh. Yes, that's how they talk. That's how my, my fa- aunts, like, my aunts and mom, that's how they talk. Coming around my family is a definitely, like, mm. You have to have tough skin. I have a country family, so. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you got to be ready. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I love I love You that have to though. be ready. You have to be ready. Yeah. I love that, though. I think in terms of having your creative flair as your family, I feel like yes. anyone that's inspired by their family is actually beautiful because a lot yeah, of people Yeah, don't let not. them hear that, though. That's it's like, yeah. Oh, See, I, was like, being nice. I feel like I was raised around like, like men, so for me, that's why I feel like I picked up on the TV. Yeah. Okay, I was raised yeah. around a lot of men, so yeah. like... I feel like my mom also had me like moving around a lot, so I didn't get to like see regards of like how the females act or anything mm-hmm. like that. So I kind of picked everything up off TV. Yeah. Okay, amazing. But that's good though. I feel like sometimes when you can't, when you, I think you pick up bits and pieces from different aspects of your life. Yes. Even me, like I remember when I grew up watching. Um, I don't know if everyone, anyone remembers In the Box. It was a Disney show, and mm. it had long dreads. 
and there's the a there, yes. was a there was an Asian girl. Yes, yeah. time to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so long, farewell to you, my friend. So I long, know that one. farewell until we meet again. That was oh my god, that's nostalgia. <laughs> that oh my god. Yeah, no, I know that one. Y'all lost me on that. Do you know what? One. I really. You know those moments where like a piece of your memory unlocks? I haven't sung that song since I was like seven years old. <laughs> On God. On I didn't God. Know that oof, show. That's, oof. You know in the box, was it out the box or Wait, something? When did it's, that it's shit come out? In like the, it's, it's been a long time. Yeah, but like, I, did think, it come I don't out know if like, I was born, yeah. like I'm 99, so, but I know that show. I'm 97. Did it come out yeah. like that's a Raven era? But even before that, yeah. what, even before that, we're talking about maybe like early to that like i i watched that when i lived in ireland and i moved away from ireland when i was like six seven mm -hmm. nah. so we're talking about over yeah. over 20 15 20 yeah, I think, oh. what was that? damn i don't know what, how, how were what, you what year what year are you? i'm 98 we're seven eight, eight nine, nine. Look at that. <laughs> not seven eight no, seven look, eight look at us. we did look at us <laughs> look, look, look. we all said look yeah us. look at us <laughs> This is good. Honestly, Don't talk about heated because then we're gonna get into Beyonce. Sorry, heated. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to Beyonce. Have you been to Beyonce? I saw. I saw you I've been, been to Beyonce. Beyonce. I didn't go to no damn Beyonce. No. You ever been? I'm I going. Been. I found out today that I like literally. I said it. I'm I've going. been trying to tell him. No, but I've been trying to tell him before Coachella. I was like, Are you sure? You were at Coachella? Yes. Yeah, I, I was at Coachella. What? what? I was at Coachella. How one did or you two. Feel about Coachella? Ooh, one well, or did two. You go one or two. I went to the first one. Oh mm. shit, we were there. With Frank Ocean. Yeah. We spoke about Frankie Frankie Baba. Wait, um, before you say anything. <laughs> Frankie Baba. I have a self control tattoo. No way. That's shit. like a fan fan. How did you feel when he did what he did? Can I get the bottle? <laughs> <laughs> How, yes. <laughs> I was so pissed. Um you know, I feel like I have two feelings about it. I obviously oh. was upset because I was just like, I wish it lasted longer because Bad Bunny was on for so long. Yeah, and yeah. I thought that and he was, he was get, late. And Bad Bunny was yeah, late. Yeah, Bad Bunny was late. So when Frank Ocean went on his set, I was like, okay, he's late, y'all. Like, I, uh, Mind you, I stood there from 4 p.m. till he got on, which was at 11. Oh, my God, you listened to Bjork. I just stayed there. Yes, I just oh, stayed I was, there. That was the most painful shit I've ever experienced. I don't know who life. that was. New York. No, nah, but I'm not gonna lie. The lights is because we were sitting down and I had to rest from all that standing and from the heat that I was laying on my friend's lap. But hearing I my voice, standing. it was something just hit. It sounded like a little angelic. I felt like I was in you a know, movie looking up at the sky. During that time, <laughs> I was honestly socializing with the people that I did. Like, yeah. I was, I left them. I left all my that friends because lost. I needed to be <laughs> up close and personal when I saw Frank. And I got a good view. Mm -hmm. I will say I got some good videos. Mm -hmm. um, but. But. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he. He. I don't know if some of the songs were lip sync. He, be, yeah, I no, some tell. of them I were. I could not tell because I, I've, I've listened, to, I've, I've watched videos he, of Shahid him. He doesn't fucking lip sync the songs. I think some, some of them, of them oh, were. some of them sounded. I couldn't tell right off the bat. I but said like, it immediately. Then I put my phone down. I was like, yeah, something's not right. Something then he was not right. Would have the mic down. Y'all didn't see that. He'll just. Some Do of this? them was live, but I couldn't tell yeah. if all of them were live. Oh my god! And then also like. I did like the little boy that he brought up. Yeah. That was cute. That was cute. Um, and he was singing apparently in the back and the boy was lip singing, but I'm just like, Frank, was you singing or was he singing to a track? Like, yeah. you could be real with me. Sorry, that was a hot, hot steaming mess for me. But like, this is the point I'm going to get to. I just felt like, I just felt disappointed as a fan because yeah, I yeah. stood there for so fucking long. And he was the whole reason I came to Coachella. Yeah. It was my birthday, April 15th. Yeah. It's Coachella. My birthday is around Coachella every single time. So the yeah. fact that he was, I was like, this is a sign. Like, I need to go see my favorite artist. And, like, with the sentimental moment, I appreciated the sentimental moment we had with him with, in regards to, like, his brother dying. Yeah, of course. That moment, I'm sorry for me, like, it was, I, tears was coming. I got a video, like, cry. I was crying because I felt him. I felt yeah. him on that. I just wish he stayed. That's I wish it. he stayed. I was really, oh, it was the best. Sorry. But you heard that he was not supposed to perform on that stage. It was supposed to be behind a different barricade and there was going to be like ice, like an ice yeah, rink Yeah, there was thing. an ice rink. My yeah, friend 
camped way before we even got there. Mm-hmm. Once like co- like the festival started, she was at that barricade. She didn't move. She didn't see any other artists. Anybody who performed at the main Coachella stage, she saw literally everybody. She stayed there. And then to the morning she it, yeah, she stayed there until the security guards we um they kept telling her, Oh no, it's okay, you got a good spot. So then she was like, Yeah guys, like Frank is gonna be performing in the middle in the ice rink thing. Switch it up last minute. Yeah. Now he's at the so she camped for nothing and she was so sad crying so sad. and she's so short that she can't see she anything can't see. and they text me they was like Tashaun, i promise you you got the worst spot and i was like no something's telling but me but we still can see here. him though like i was still able I to see him i could see him very clearly like That's they saw so my sad. videos and it was like yeah bitch you could you see hq him. no not hq you hd H, I said HQ. Jesus Christ, <laughs> you H motherfucker. Be. Wait, can I do? Can I say? Can I say something though? Totally. In regards of like Coachella, Go on. one of the performances that stays in my heart is Cali. Cali. Kelly, 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 Uchi, Uchi, Kelly, Uchi, Uchi. yes, you know what? Yeah. So good. that was I, good. I hadn't. I wasn't a fan. Not that I wasn't a fan of her. I didn't really know her music. It was me. I, I didn't. Know I feel music. like we're on the same note. I. Listen to that performance, and I went on Spotify, and I went through her that's, whole thing. Me it too. Came, that's I awesome. cannot. So that's good. all I plays now. I, I'm sorry. Her, do you know what? Her and Rosalia. 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 Oh, I didn't get to. No. I love. Oh my god. Listen. I oh wait. Not just Rosalia. Rosalia. Okay. I'm not a K-pop I'm a stand. No, I'm not a K- K-pop. No, no, no. I, no, I'm okay, gonna say real quick. Thing, okay. Thing, I was gonna say about Blackpink. I was gonna say like. I'm not a K-pop stan, but I saw Blackpink. And it makes sense. And wow. Yeah, that performance was crazy. Yes. La Lisa. La Lisa, eh. Even the, even she the, was dancing on the fucking pole. Yes. <laughs> throwing that ass. He was screaming so loud in that video. As you motherfucker should. You gotta see that you were drunk. They, they, was, they, was, shut it down. they was lit. They but was lit. I became fans of people. What were your yeah your favorite um, performers in Coachella? Burner Boy. Because Afro about the fucking we miss beef. Burner Boy. You're very stupid. We miss Burner Boy. We we wanted to see no. Burner hey. Boy, I was like Ta- Tyshawn, tell I had about two hours. I'm not telling her about our No, 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 no. I'm oh. saying telling her what didn't I keep saying? I was like, I want to go see Burner Boy yeah. right now. I have to see him. Bad we Bunny, Burner Boy. We had a couple of artists that we wanted to see. Becky just, G. I heard she did really. She well, did. I wanted good. to see. I, again, G, I, I didn't know. Her her. I didn't know she was English. Like I didn't know her. <laughs> I honestly, I didn't even know her. I thought she was fabulous. You, you know, you don't know Becky G. I didn't Dancing know her. Singing in the mirror. I, honestly, she's not. I didn't know her. Yo, honestly, yeah, and she's English. I missed. And I watched her performance. It was fabulous. Did you see Gorilla? I didn't see Gorilla. I said I can't. You saw Lotto. I did see lots of, they were on another stage and I said, honestly, yeah, I was so waved, I could not move. So I watched everyone from the main stage. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I watched everyone at the main stage. I but I watched of... Burner Boy. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Again, I wasn't, I wasn't a fan. I didn't really know much about Kate Shinada. His performance. Oh, yeah. My friend went Like to when I do this, that means I'm trying to absorb the energies because honestly, yeah, his performance, I was not a fan of his music, but. Again, I had to go yeah. on Spotify after and download all his playlists. No, I'm sorry. One thing about when I walked out of the... No, I didn't walk out because obviously I stayed for free. Yeah. But after Kelly left, I felt very just like So angelic. calm. Like, she has such I a like bad bitch fully. angelic like vibe to her. I don't know what it is. It's like giving like... It's powerful, but it's calm. No, it's you just know like with Ice Spice. Ice Spice is like quiet but calm. Nah, she was good. Her performance. I you saw Ice Spice? I never, Not quiet I didn't but watch calm, Ice Spice. but like quiet but like Spice? strong. I didn't see Ice Spice. Oh. She, she was there. Was she there? Yeah. For Revol- she Revol- Revol- with Gorilla. With Revol- no, she hadn't gone to Revolve, and that was a f- that's the mistake that I made. We should have gone to Revolve, but we didn't know about it. And do Next you know, time, I, we need to keep in context. That's we what I'm saying. We're supposed to go to we so need many, the US, UK. We need someone that will be like, okay, when I'm in the US, this is this is who. Yeah, navigate. we gotta hear the tea. We, we need the like, navigators. Yes. Yeah, because we didn't know about it until we saw it, and we were like, we could have gone to that, you know. Yes. Yeah. And then that's yeah, how was I was. So I literally had a list of things that I could go to. It was just like, I did see Sweetie though, and I and it was we kept I, I love manifested left, it. He left, but I was like, because once we walked in, Lotto was already about to go on, so I was like, oh, I'm about to go see Lotto. So he's like, okay, I'm just gonna get food. I'll see y'all later. That nigga didn't see us later, but it didn't even matter. <laughs> He was drunk. I was waiting for Frank. We were like honest. lit because we came there drunk. So I'm drunk as hell and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Lotto. Ah, I finessed my way, moved my way into the front. But before we even left, um, the song with Lotto and Sweetie came out. I was just I was like, oh my gosh, it would be so crazy if Sweetie comes on stage Sweetie with her. It would just be Coachella. so crazy. Cause she I love Sweetie. Though. 
Once I heard, because sweetie, I was like, no. I screamed <laughs> so loud in the video. It's so bad. So, imagine, so imagine bad. Imagine she came out and she was like. And she looked at Wait. me and I was like. Imagine she came out and she was like, three, two shots. Got, got a bitch, bitch feeling, feeling risky. risky. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. You need to know. She has this song called Risky. And Do I need to start jumping onto sweet music? No, listen. I don't know how music No, is. so risk, Risky is like, it's very like Bane, whatever. But when you listen to it regular, because I'm annoying, so when I'm drunk, I'm just very extra. There's no scream in the sound, but every time she's like, three, two shots, got a bitch feeling risky in my chest, I just have to scream. Yeah. So I'd be like, three, two shots, got a bitch feeling risky. Ah! That might be my new, that be my ah! new thing. I, risky, sweet. I'm going to I'm gonna download it. It is true. Three, two shots, got a bitch feeling risky. But, you, but now my sister and him, they can't unhear without my scream. So when they just listen to the song, you have to scream. Like, oh nah, they're like something is missing, and it's my scream. You have to put the scream. I have a whole video. I gotta show you that video. She's a sweetie fan. I'm gonna I'm a Nikki love fan. her. I'm, I'm a, a Nikki, Nikki fan. fan. I'm a Nikki fan. I'm a everybody. I I'm a motherfucking Nikki yeah. fan. So I'm when a Nikki I put on fan. my Nikki Minaj, I'm like, hey, hey <laughs> it's time. Hey. It's time. No, when I listen to Nikki, I don't know about anybody else, but I listen to music before I'm like doing something serious. Like if I got like a photo shoot or something like mm-hmm. that. So I got my to headphones bring your energy on. Up. Mm-hmm. When I hear Nikki, I just feel like I'm about to step in that motherfucking room and cause a scene. If I need to feel like a boss bitch, if I need to feel like I'm the motherfucking shit, nobody can tell me nothing, yes. it's Nicki Minaj. It Nicki is. Always. I'm it's Nicki sorry. Minaj. It's Nicki or Beyonce for me. Nicki Minaj, when she does the bar for bar shit, I employ these niggas. They be grown mm. men, but I little boy, boy these niggas. niggas. <laughs> when I start to, is this the thanks that I get for, for putting you bitches on? Is when it my fault that all, all the you bitches gone? gone. Should have said a thank you note, you little hoe. Now I'm going to rock your coffin with a bow. Nicki, she's just mad because you took the spot. What word that bitch mad because I took the spot? What bitch if you ain't shit? To get off the pot, got some niggas out of brick that are off the top, huh? I had a mumbling, I had a cackling, I got a scared, shook, panicking, overseas, church, panicking. You had a stand, still, mannequin. You wanna sleep on me overnight? I don't know the fucking balls, overnight. And when I pull up, boom. I tried my best. I tried my best. I'm drunk as fuck. Cause I was like, <laughs> no. I was like, one thing about me when them Nick the lyrics hit, yeah, I can so under- No, okay. This is the thing about me. I don't know if a lot of people do this, but I make lyrics up in my head. So if I'm singing a song. Okay. I'm gonna say some shit that is not in the song, that's what my aunt does. and then everybody will look at me and be like, "Is this is it? Did he? What word did he just say?" It's provocative. It gets the people. But going. with Nikki, <laughs> but no, with Nikki, she raps so clearly yeah. that like I study it and then I learn it and then I got it. Back to back. Do you know what I need to learn? That obviously Beyonce is coming. I don't know this. I don't know the bit that everybody says we should learn. The heated. Heated. Yeah, oh, I don't know it. You wanna know what's so crazy? Literally, once that album came out, that was my first favorite song. And what was yours? Cause then mine was Energy. Mine was mine was, was, mine was um, what was mine? Alien. Oh, it was Alien Superstar. Or America has a problem. I was just like, there's something about. It was Alien Superstar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, But it was something about Heated. I don't know. Out of all the songs, I was just like, Heated is the song I told him. She need a music video. I'm sorry. And just so good. It was like, yada, 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 yada. I need to learn it. Yada, yada, yada. Bum, bum, ka, ka. Blast it on the ass. Blast on the. What? I need to learn it. 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 No, they played it at the club, and I'm sorry. I was like, was no. It crazy? Yo, was it crazy? When they play, when Everybody they play, was like. When they play technique, that's my technique. When they go. Dum, 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 yeah. Dum, dum, mm-hmm. I'm like, you remember when she had a so camera? She's yeah, like. She's like oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? We've completely Damn. we've completely digressed. We're talking about creativity. Sorry. Oh. No, it's okay. It, it tends creativity to happen, guys. I'm very great. sorry. Creativity is absolutely fantastic. So, <laughs> in terms of. Um, I love me some creativity. So, <laughs> I love me some creativity. <laughs> so, in terms of uh, tips and tricks for those getting started in the creative space, mm-hmm. what advice would you give to them? Keep posting. Oh, um, True. Yeah, keep, keep posting, posting consistently because sometimes. I, not sometimes, I have an issue with that. And I know it's and very hard and I do be on myself. But I'm just like, first of all, why am I on myself and why am I being scared when I know I'm that bitch and I'm funny? But it's, well, <laughs> somebody doesn't need another drink. <laughs> Is that, do I hear it leaking? It's actually fucking, it's actually dripping. <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> Ty is actually crying. Oh my days. That is so funny. I'm so I'm sorry. sorry. I made a mistake. <laughs> it was you just standing there and it watching the, it leak. It was like, oh. And you hear the, you just hear the trickling. <laughs> That's a comedic moment. Okay, cool. So consistency, I agree. Yes. You yes. actually have to be consistent. Funny enough, I went to go and do a, um, 
This is where we always find No, no, seriously, I'm bringing it back. I, I promise you, I'm bringing it back. I went to do a green pill yesterday. <laughs> okay. On my back. Because mm-hmm. obviously, you know, your girl got has a little back knee. So I had to get it scrubbed. It's okay. Yes, I had yeah. to get some acid stuff off my back because I want to show my back during the summer because... Okay, hey, we outside. We outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was going to get a green pill and the girl was telling me how she was, she, you know, she was doing YouTube and stuff. Yeah. And she stopped doing it because she was like, oh, you know, she... When she first started, she was getting like 1K, 2K, but she like she really wanted to get like 100,000 subscribers and she wasn't seeing the numbers. Yeah. So she just kind of quit. And I'm yeah. like, sometimes like, I always say, don't be so numbers focused. I feel like the minute you start focusing on the amount of numbers you're getting and all that yeah. stuff, you're, you've just set yourself up for failure. Yes. I feel like anything you should do should be, be from art, you know. from just, just because you want to have fun with it like yeah. that's how this show started it was like i just want to have yeah. i just want to talk to people and i wanted to just be creative in some sort of aspect and that was it and i mm-hmm. wasn't thinking of oh yeah my god if i don't get this amount of numbers yeah. i'm a failure and things like that mm-hmm. i think the focus should be for the first year to just kind of hone into your craft yes. and just have a good time yeah did you start seeing numbers like straight off the bat no no no, no. um when i started social media i feel like i was Seeing him seeing numbers like here and there. So I thought it was just like a once in a while type thing. And I feel like as I really was consistent and just like I feel like you have to get to a point where you're just like, I'm about to do this. Yeah. Like I feel like even when it comes down to like the numbers, I know you said don't stay focused on the consistency consistency, you have to be like, I'm getting ready to do this. Yeah. And when I do it, because I say that about myself, like when it comes to like modeling or anything that I get myself into, I'm like, when I'm about to do this, I'm about to do it. Yeah. So I feel like when I was like that, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm eventually see the numbers. They're gonna come. And then the numbers start coming and I was just like, fuck yeah, let's keep this shit going. Let's let's come up. You gotta be very creative. Yeah. Yeah. Don't stop thinking your niche in the audience because obviously you can see what they like and don't like also. Yeah. So obviously the things that are getting you the views and it's like, okay, so I'm funny for this. They, they like this. You have to stick to that. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Basically. I would say I a agree. lot of people, I, I would say a lot of people also think in regards of just like, because I've done it too, like in regards to like switching it up and trying something like way <laughs> completely different. Oh, the, I called him something, out. Yeah. Damn. Something that like a lot of people would just be like, I mean, okay, I'm going to support you, but like, yeah. okay. But, but why? But what is but, like, going on? Where, what happened? And I feel like in regards to like, because me, like I, um, I love being funny, but I also love fashion. Fashion. So I feel like when I got to that point on my page on TikTok, people was just like, I mean, were you okay. doing? You were doing comedy first. Yeah, I was doing comedy first, and then you just moved. You integrated into fashion. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like I, I was always doing fashion for here and there, but I never like made that consistently my content. Mm-hmm. And I feel like when I made that consistently my content, my followers was just like, "Are oh, we supporting you, bitch?" But like, what bring is, back, the fuck? bring back yeah. some other shit that yeah. we want. And I feel like that's something that people also lose in because yeah. I feel like you can you can always try something new, but also stick to your roots. I'm just checking if you're full. Oh my well god! Done. Well done, guys. Well done. We're doing Obviously all right. You're not full. Yes, I'm definitely empty. <laughs> Running on it. She want to get into some things. I'm still trying to. I'm actually. Do you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we need to go out tonight. It's fucking bank holiday weekend, mate. We need to fucking do. Let me let me pack before we do that. Yeah, yeah, late, late at night. Don't worry, like... Because I'm down to go out. Midnight, I'm sorry, midnight. I'm down to go out. Cinderella night, Cinderella time. No, Cinderella actually, time. Oh I'm God. down to go out. Cinderella times, we'll, we'll go out. Oh I'm dropping Jazzy does it. Jazzy is just She's going to come out. No, what one time th- is your flight? One thing about her, she's going to be like... It takes off at 11 something. We would just have to be there. I don't know how the customs are here for us to get through. Yeah, you would need to go a bit early if it's an international flight. I mean, I can still go outside and then come back. Everything's packed. Look, but then... he didn't even want to go out yesterday and I was ready. But, you know, yeah, I'm down. Yeah, yesterday, before, I'm sorry, I was not. But before we even got here, I was it's like, Friday. we going out? And then everybody kept being like, it's huh? Friday. No, we, we have to go. I, I really want you guys to have a, a, at least one good night. I mean, I, I need give to, a good night. If, I, if I'm grinding on that wall like you was doing before we, we cut on the cameras, we need to have one good night. We need to have one I need to have that night. I'm no, sorry. To, I need to. to. Mm. <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> okay, so basically, we're talking about creativity. Yes. <laughs> Digression again. <laughs> Digression again. Yeah. But yeah, we're just going to give you some tips in terms of um, honing into your eye. 
identity as yeah. a content creator. Like you said, I feel like in terms of being a creator, I see it happen all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where like sometimes some people know you as one thing and you might transition into another thing. But as long as you're not doing that thing for views, I think it's fine. Yeah. There's so fine. many aspects of, of who you are as a human being yeah. that it's like, okay, if you're interested in fashion, but you're also the funny guy, that's okay. That's cool, yeah. If you're interested in, in like... If you're a comedian, but also you like to cook, that's okay. Yeah. But there's sometimes where it's like, oh yeah, cooking is the trend, so let me do it. No, don't yeah. do that. I was gonna say also, I've I've seen a lot of people do it, and I feel like I'm doing it right now. I feel like um I have YouTube, which I'm very like interested in, in right now, like mm-hmm. very consistent at it right now. And I feel like I have two pages where I give them the content that they're obviously used to, but I also give them more like vloggy, Style, yeah. come with me like on a day-to-day basis. Like obviously I'll be on 10, but also there's moments where I'm not on 10. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's me low key um getting my followers used to knowing me because i feel like with the comedian videos and like making people laugh and stuff like that they don't know you yeah you get what i'm saying so i feel like when you do another page where it's just like focus on like i'm just gonna be like chilling like if y'all don't like the chill vibe well some people will resonate to it but some people won't it, it's your business which which page you want to yeah. be mm-hmm. on but like i feel like you can also do that too where you can kind of just like be like I'm gonna do this, but I also want to try this too. You can mm-hmm. make two pages if you're if you're that type of person that's consistent at it. You you can you can do both. You can do both. That's exactly. You really that's the the beauty of being like a personality. Yeah. You can really navigate the space in multiple ways. Yeah. But the ones we have here is first of all find your niche mm. I feel like you should always start doing something. Everyone wants to be mm. a jack of all trades. Yeah. yeah. Like, I always find it fascinating when people do hair, nails, makeup, mm. and fucking... What's the other one? Eyebrows or eyelashes. No. Be one <laughs> thing. Be one thing. I stick. Can I say so something about the probably, niche? Can I say something on, yeah. about the niche? People are going to get annoyed with you when you do something consistently. Don't give a fuck. Yeah. yeah. Don't care. Yeah. Because I'm going to be honest, they commenting. Mm-hmm. Why are you commenting if you... If you why why are you back? Up. You wanted to see it again. Yeah. I remember I did um, something that she fucking brings up. I did my water boobs thing where I put like water balloon boobs on mm-hmm. and I was like doing slow mo shit. Like, where the, I was like just, a Japanese, like, like uh-huh. the anime titties. Yeah. Like the anime titties or something like that. And honestly, like, I mean, some people was just like, why does he can keep doing this? But they bought in motherfucking views and motherfucking like yeah. shit that everybody you, you was are, like you, back and forth for. Yeah. But don't funny, you can't though. you can't care yeah you actually can't give a fuck on this like when you have thing. a niche it's gonna be consistent so you can't care if you anybody be like stop oh doing yeah, that. yeah. It's, it's it's outdated it's enough it's like that's not what the views are saying honey right <laughs> so the keep views, it pushing that. keep it pushing yeah but yeah find your niche find what you're passionate about whether yeah. that's gaming travel or something entirely different um you don't have to be entirely original Obviously, don't copy, yeah. but always be inspired. Yeah. But identifying your niche will help you create content that resonates with your target audience and allows you to showcase your expertise. Yeah. Can I? Um, can I say? Sorry, of course. But can I? Can I say something about this? The, is, this is our thing. <laughs> uh, talk to us. Educate can I, us. Can I? Can I say something about um, the the copying, but also being yeah. inspired and stuff like that? I feel like even um, if you're like doing a duet or doing a dance or whatever your your areas in where you kind of like learned it from somebody or whatever please add them like at least yeah, at least at least add them and kind of like give them the shine because it's like i got yeah. it from this i mean yeah. i do that like i don't care i'm just like i got this idea from this person, this person but yeah. obviously i'm gonna make it my own yeah. but you know it's like you can be inspired everyone is inspired by somebody even beyonce she's inspired by like a tina turner you know yeah. what's or like come on I saw a video and this blew my mind because I always yeah. say like everything history repeats itself it yes. people are inspired Michael Jackson there was a actor before him and he done musicals yeah. and he was doing this musical solo and we're talking about in the 70s in the 60s mm-hmm. I can't remember how old Michael Jackson I think Michael Jackson was quite young those times mm-hmm. that was during Jackson five times hey. <laughs> when and I, I get the to, when I have the fro out when you'll the see fro, the Jackson when you had the fro <laughs> Honestly, this guy, he had the socks pulled up. He was wearing like the black shoes with the white toe caps. Yeah. And he was dancing exactly like Michael Jackson. Yeah. And this was in the 60s. And they were saying how Michael Jackson c- took a lot of inspiration from this man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he was, it completely spun me because like, even though like the way he moved and stuff, it looked so much like Michael Jackson. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like it's not a bad thing to be inspired by people or things, it's really but it really is important for me 
to really acknowledge those people you're being yes. inspired by. Don't just be nabbing things and pretend like you didn't no. see them. Yeah. Don't do that I because agree. that's stealing. And God said, don't steal. I know that's right. Yeah. Don't steal. Hallelujah. <laughs> Don't steal. I mean, because I'm like, yeah. Beyonce, she always talks about, or she even put in her song, like, when she shouted out all the females that she's inspired by. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like that's something that it's okay to do. Like, you can, it's Beyonce. You, and Beyonce's Beyonce, but she's she got inspired. Yeah, she's in, she the fact that she inspired. mentioned Nikki and not Cardi, but why would she mention Cardi, to be honest? I love Cardi B. No, 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 I love Cardi B. I think she's fabulous. I think she's fabulous. See, the drink is already catching me. I think Cardi B is fabulous. But you cannot compare someone who's been 10 years in the motherfucking game to someone who's just entered. I think that they're going to have the same career span. If Beyonce didn't mention you, then you're just not that girl. You know, a lot of people on on Twitter be talking about how um, Cardi B and Beyonce secretly have something together. Or they did have something secret together, like musically, but it just fell out or something like that. I mean, I don't know the tea bro, behind it. it, but I just feel like, can, wait, can we get into the Nicki and Cardi B beef real quick? I know, I know we're talking about something else. Can we get into it? Because I, I actually, y'all about to, cause, just, no, listen, we here we go. go. Listen, I, I, I can actually say something about we're this. We're talking about Cardi on the Bacardi. Because, Come on. no, the thing is, the thing is, because she can, she'll, she'll call me out if she feels like she want to call me out about it. But <laughs> I feel like I don't, I don't hate Cardi B. Like, no. I know some Cardi B songs. I'm like, hey, come yeah, on, Cardi fat. B. Like, I'll dance to her and stuff like that. I just feel like I have a little bit more respect for Nicki Minaj because she writes her music. She writes all her music. And the fact that she just, like, what are you making that face for? You better let him know. Oh, I was like, what you mean? You <laughs> but no, the thing know. is, like, the, no, the thing is, like, Nicki writes her music. Yeah, and then the fact that, like, she keep coming up with shit. And I'm like, bitch, where did you come up? Like, how? How you keep doing this and you've been in the game for how fucking long and you still yeah. making bitches Ten upset because plus. you still making bitches upset because you're you. That's mm-hmm. crazy. I feel like when I see people compare the two, it really annoys me. You cannot the, compare The them. reason why it annoys me is because one thing that this music industry doesn't have is longevity. Yeah. No. People come and go. For someone to be in the game over 10 years plus it's and crazy. still be the leading lady yeah, in, especially in music for a woman, rap, for for a yeah. woman yeah out rapping some guy so much so that they can't even stand to hear her on a song that you keep removing her features. Mm. Mm. Like, it doesn't happen. So when people are comparing someone who's new school that's had like maybe three years or four years on their belt to Nicki Minaj, it's like there's not even any respect. But it's also like the diversity that she has. I feel like that's my thing where I don't get into a lot of the females that we got now. I'm going to be honest because I don't see no diversity and i like that nikki can play yeah, around with different rock, shit she did everything yeah like the only person that one of the only people that i see doing that is kanye west mm-hmm. so when you went you, someone that beyonce someone that can jump into different genres yes. and yeah. still be able, like it's very difficult it's doja. very rare no 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 doja be doing that too doja cat i don't know if anybody can tell no, but, but, doja like, doja, but but i don't agree because have you seen doja cat in the hood <laughs> has doja cat given us a hood album She's getting ready, apparently. Apparently, she's supposed to get When she makes album. a good hood album, <laughs> I will be happy. I'm because sorry. Because I've <laughs> never heard... Let's be honest. Doja yeah, yeah, Hat no, no, does no. pop. Yeah, but she's upset, and that's the thing that she's she was really talking upset, about. Yeah. That she was just like, I'm not this pop girl. I'm not yeah. doing that shit no more. Yeah. That's not what I yeah. want to do. Nicki Minaj came from the hood Yeah. To Hollywood. But also, can I say something? Because like, I've been a Nicki fan for a minute, and I feel like... I don't know if a lot of people talk about this, but when Nicki did her pop era... A lot of people was a little disappointed because they felt like she sold out. She sold out, yeah, but no, bitch, Nikki. I'm sorry, but she Nikki was, was, she was being, ahead of her time. But no, Nikki was being smart because it's like, well, these bitches making money for this, so let me yeah, go over here she, and let me throw course. a little like, uh-huh, but let me also throw a little rap. She, she, has, did she, she, she did do. what she Yo, had to do. That was like she did what great. she had to do. That time was great though. There's no, for me. She there was be, nothing wrong with it honest, with me. I love the black community. Yeah, I love underground community. Yeah, but there's only so much you can go because we are a minority we are a powerful yeah. one yeah. but we are a minority the mainstream is where it's at yeah. the mainstream there's she longevity had mainstream. she had to go mainstream mm-hmm. and she did fantastic I always say if if Nicki Minaj was to make stupid hoe 
in this time, mm. it would be number one. It would. Mm. No, Back if she day, was, if she was to make her like generic, like I'm not even gonna call it generic. I feel yeah. like if she made her poppy music, like no. um, like the Vava Voom and yeah. all this type of stuff like that, she can make Nikki can. She did Super Freaky Girl. Mm-hmm. She can yeah. do a catalog of that, but she doesn't want to because it's not. It doesn't resonate with to her. She is. Yeah, that's okay. like how Beyonce is. Because I feel like even when she did Renaissance, it wasn't. For everybody, she's like, if the bitches don't get it, they well, don't get like it. not gonna lie, she made it though. She made it for everybody. She did because well, that's, she made it. Inclusive. She opened up a whole community. She did. That, oh, yeah. She did make it for people, but she was like, she knew. I'm sorry, but the sounds that she played with, I don't think a lot of people was gonna get it right off the bat. Yeah, right off the bat, I didn't get it right off the bat. But yeah. then again, I'm not from that culture. Yeah. But I think she opened up the understanding of that culture yes, which was which was so important because yes. I, I didn't really know much about the ballroom my best friend he's a ballroom guy I, mm-hmm. but I didn't really know much about the yeah. type of music house music and thing, and ballroom music and stuff like that mm-hmm. um, wait can I talk about the ballroom yeah quick? I love ballroom I'm sorry I went recently in New York okay fabulous um, during like fashion week when I was there or whatever and when I say I got so inspired by just like how they are just so confident once they walk in that bitch. Like, I feel like that's why I low-key kind of resonate with them, like, in regards to just, like, having that go. Let's go. Yeah. Like, that fun. shit is strong. Like, yeah. they're having fun, but they're also being them, but also being that bitch. Yes. Strong, yeah. And that's a lot. Like, all love, those things at the same time. I kind of love the feminine and masculine yes. energy. That's I like, what I love That's what I lot. love. And I do. Like, I love I'm the fem boys, but they still have this underlying yes. aggression that's yeah. so masculine. It's just, they eat that shit. The f- I'm sorry, when they doing all that, I can't Did do all that. I can't. They- Did you see that <laughs> video with uh, Law Roach? And yeah. in the ballroom, oh yeah, wait, so talking much. about the outfit or whatever. The outfit. So this yes. guy was saying he had one of one <laughs> that it was custom made. So he was like, "It's custom made. Like, <laughs> I don't pull my stuff from designers and give it back the next day." Mm. And Lil Roach was <laughs> like, "Lil Roach read him to Bamba Club." Can I say something about Lil Roach? Talk to me. I fucking love him. I like Roach. Him. I lo- I'm sorry. I A lot of too. people don't like him, but I love him. I'm sorry. He has made a fucking name for himself he and he did. did what he had to do I'm sorry a lot of the fashion girls that be wearing certain shit and he said I watched an interview where he said it. he said that once you see bitches wearing your something that you made as a costume that was a moment mm-hmm. that was a moment and like he has done so many like my, monumental things that was just yes. like Fuck. People don't like it when you know you're a nick girl. Yeah. Well, he's a nick girl. I'm yeah, sorry. but yeah, but he, he knows, knows that it. He knows it. it. People don't like it when you, you know, know you're it. a hit yeah. girl. And that's I think the people problem. love fake humility. Yeah. People love like, look at my CV, but oh god, I couldn't dare. But Kiki no. ate him up. With Talk that your thing. motherfucking shit. Oh yeah, shit. when him, but when him and Kiki were going back and forth on legendary. Kiki Palmer ate him up. And she was so like, much. I said what I said. <laughs> I said what I said. And she said, and as to my great hit. Move on or some shit said, like that. Yeah, she said. Yeah, she said. So she said. Yeah, keep it you, moving. She said. Yeah, keep, keep it moving. moving. She said. Yeah, you run stale. He was like, you ate, you ate that. that. <laughs> <laughs> I live by that. You ate that. You ate that. No, because one thing about the guys, they gonna read. Yeah. I feel like, because obviously, that's I went out. What, no, they think that, and that's listen. If you wanna hang out with the gay boys, yeah. I, you need to have no. tough motherfucker skin. But you, you know, do. I need to because tell you. Because it's like well, the nah, culture. Nah, let her tell you something. Wait, wait, hold on. Let her tell you something real quick. One thing about me, I loved gay men they always say they call me like a gay hag because most of my friends are gay men or i'm surrounded by the we, um we've seen a couple of, we've seen a couple of, of gay men that could be her if she was a gay yeah man. no literally if i'm basically a gay man, man myself in this like body but <laughs> recently like the first <laughs> the first time ever usually um i give you like my personality once i can talk to you and i see your vibe and how you joke i'm like okay so i know if i joke with you like this this is okay if i'm like oh yeah bitch i'm like oh yeah so i can do this we can banter we know that it's cool we went (laughs) to an event that we got invited to and (laughs) um i guess this is one of the create like creative directors whatever i don't know yeah I'm Who not shall not be named? <laughs> I'm not saying anything. No, no, no. Who shall I'm not, not I'm, be no, named? I'm, I'm saying like I'm quiet. Yeah, I'm yeah no. Speak. Yeah, no. I'm not saying anything. But um, you basically there was already a bantering energy and where we were at that we were already joking. Yeah. So this was like another owner that 
I was already joking with him and he was like, I like you, like you're fiery, like da, 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 you're such a bitch, like I like you. So we already had that vibe going, but we knew it was a joke. So when the other one came in and, and decides to say to Tyshawn, oh my gosh, I love your like flirting. shirt. Like he, he was, was flirting, that's cute. But he was like, I love your he shirt, like, um, <laughs> He That's was adorable. Like, uh-huh, no, I'm he was cute. Like, he, he, he was like, oh, yeah, like, I like your shirt. Da, da, da. Like, it's so beautiful. Like, where did you get it? He was like, oh, I thrifted it. And my friend Joe was like, oh, yeah, like, it's Sheen thrifted. And then we were laughing at it. And then this man decides to say, oh, yeah. He's like, no, I love your shirt. Yeah, his shirt eats. All, like y'all outfits out his shirt only like eats your outfits both like up uh, towards me and my friend so I'm thinking oh okay so I can have this energy back so I was just okay so what are you wearing and then <laughs> he was like oh da, da, da. like you know I got a, like this t-shirt and then he's these like shorts it was like sh- whatever you can wear that out he went to work that's fine there's nothing wrong with what he's wearing but I'm like you're talking about he's eating us up what about you so I'm keeping that same energy and though. he was like I was looking chocolate as fuck <laughs> I look good I, had a, I, I you know had everybody had looked good but I did chocolate, I had chocolate. my chocolate brown shirt like like brown. Cabri- you know I had my snake, pan, my snake you know, skin pants on Cadbury's is like how she's kisses mm-hmm. here so like what you like you look like Cadbury's that means you just look yeah. chocolate he looked good but you did not have to I yeah, didn't say anything he didn't anything. have to do that cause all my friends was looking good yeah so I was like Okay, so I was like, what about you? And he had these, like, type of shorts. And he was like, yeah, these are designer. He was wearing khaki from, shorts. Yeah, he was wearing, like, khaki shorts. He was like, yeah, like, these like these shorts are designer. I said, from TK Maxx, babes. <laughs> I'm like, I guess so. So then you he's like. You motherfucking wrong. <laughs> so he's going back. You but, wrong. But, but one thing about me, what d- did not help. I don't know if it's, it's because we were, like, under the influence or he was. So anything, because I'm quick. You are so laughing. So you go back and forth. He, he'll do. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm not instigating. No, I was not. Yes, you did. So when he like it he keeps funny. going back and I'm forth sorry. with me, and then I'm like, okay, like I'm going back and forth forth with him. I think it's fine because whatever he kept throwing back at me, he'll say something. I'm like, I'm saying it back. But one point he was like talking about zodiac signs. He was just this is what he says to me. This is the last thing he was like. I he said, yeah, I lo- love you. I like you, but then I don't. So I made this joke. This is the last joke I say. Well, I guess I don't like you, and I say it like that. I didn't say it in a rude way. He was just like, "Oh my gosh, I just can't. Like, I can't, I don't know if I can keep dealing with this right now. Like, I just can't." Storms away. Me and Tashawn look at each other like, "Was that a joke?" Or he just stormed away. He yeah, just stormed away. Like, he was it was like, like so yeah, yeah, I so thought I thought it was a joke. Went to literally went to one of our <laughs> running on empty Bye. running on empty stop drinking so fast you gonna see me on this bitch like for real this is this is pre-drinks before tonight no pre Girl, what time is it can i talk about something real quick Absolutely y'all some alcoholics not. here oh my god look at the time we've got don't worry we've got one more thing to do so anyways <sighs> guys creativity <laughs> do you know can I just say I really love this episode because honestly it's so chaotic yes. and it's so I think it the conversation has just been weaving and weeping <laughs> that there's no structure here guys it's just no. fucking vibes it's just the, fine I might, just, I might just have episodes where it's just like I just call them the vibe episodes where we literally sit down and yep. talk about whatever motherfucking comes to mind yes like, because what do we can I just about? say I fucking love you lots do you know why? Because y'all are the king and queen of, can I ask you a question? Yeah. And nobody ever asks me questions. Like, Really? No one asks me questions. Like, I mean, people make statements. Yeah. yeah. But you guys are very like, all, you guys are as intrusive as me. Like, oh, I want to ask you a question. What do you think about this? Because it I'm feels like, like yeah. I'm going to be honest, <laughs> it's because you feel like you're on FaceTime. Yeah. That's what I call it. Yeah. I feel like it's, it's a FaceTime com- conversation. Should we just title this the FaceTime combo? <laughs> we should just motherfucker. Wait, I don't know if you watch uh, Zachary Campbell. You watch Zachary Campbell? Oh, oh is he, is he uh, um, Hot Topics? Yeah, Hot Topics. Hot Topics? He, love him. Yes. Um, he does these things called Skype calls. And mm-hmm. honestly, when I, when I watch it, I feel like I'm like, in that video with him I'm talking with him and sometimes I'll be like bitch we home like yeah. you ain't talking to him I'm not calling this the FaceTime call and it's, it's FaceTime. like that though it's like that though when you yeah. with people it can feel like a FaceTime conversation and it's comfortable really yeah, it's this. comfortable it, I, we just let it rip like no everything <laughs> is just fucking vibes cocktails and takeaways We have something very important that we need to play. Oh, oh. shit. Damn. Y'all already know that I'm a motherfucking leader, so I like to play some games. 
We knew that. I know that's right. There we go. <laughs> oh, child. Uh, she said she got us lit to the point. She said, now it's time for the game. Now it's time for the game. Let's see how many brain cells you have left. Mm-hmm. After all this Bacardi. So, I we have one. a game on the... Yeah, hold her tight. I'm holding her. Hold mm-hmm. her It's tight. one left. Yes. So we have this game on this show in which we ask our co-hosts some cultural questions. This is the motherfucking cultural questionnaire. Oh my God. And we call this game, Are You Smart? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jazzy, Tasha. For people them from the United States of America. Are you she's smart? Gonna ask, she's gonna ask some questions and I'm gonna look smart. Are you motherfucking fuck. smart? I'm sorry, but we under nah, the Are you smarter than the fifth you grader? <laughs> No, nah, I'm not playing with you. Ask the questions because you actually got me nervous. Stop this. I know. What? Are you? Okay. Are you? Are you small? Are you going to answer the questions with us? Girl, no. Fuck. This is Because she got the answer. Yes. Why is she going to I do. Okay, okay let, me, uh, let me read them. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Let's switch it up. My joke cost was like, okay, shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've got 10 questions. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. Between two of you, I think you might be all right. Sure? So do we ding? Or like right, yeah, no, there's no ding. You have to oh. just think about it. You're working oh, together shit. here, okay. which oh. is good. You're oh, working advantage. together. Okay. You're at oh, an advantage. Why you got nervous? Because you was working against me? <laughs> You're at an advantage here. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. You can have 10 questions. Do we got a timer or something? My mental timer, whatever that's called. <laughs> okay, that's timer. good. That's good. Right. That's good. That's good. You can only give me one answer. You okay. can't tell okay. me Bobby, Susie, Adam, Becky. Okay. To lo- to lo- okay. Jenny. Right. Okay. <laughs> for real. I'm locking in the first answer. All right. For real. Are you ready? We ready. Okay. <laughs> ah fuck. <laughs> Here we go. Question number one. Wait, can I say something real quick? You got me so lit that I had to put the glasses on. Because I feel like my eyes is going to go cross-sided if I don't know the answer. So I'm going to keep these on for a little minute. And then I'm going to take them off once we done. Oh, those glasses? No. Nah. I'm keeping them on. I look like a bug, but I don't give you a You look fuck. fabulous. I can see myself in that. <laughs> <laughs> Question number one. All right, go ahead. In the animated movie Frozen, oh, what shit. type of animal is the character Sven? Finn? Wait, Finn? That's Sven. not a moose, right? Sven. Oh no, Sven. Finn is the the uh, the snowman. No, Sven. That's Olaf. It's the snowman. That's not a type of moose. What is? Wait, he? that's like, a moose. The Finn is a moose. Are you locking in moose? Yes, he's a moose. I promise you. Hey he... Siri, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You're not gonna do. Look at me. It's a type. No, no I'm because I see. Look no, at me. The... I know I'm looking both oh ways God. right now. But um, he's a moose. I know he's a moose. Because I've seen, that thing, but I've is seen it a type the, I've seen the movie. I've seen the movie too many times. If I get this wrong, I'm a fake stand. It's not a reindeer. He's a moose. You're locking in moose. All right, look at me. Child, I say moose. He's a moose. Like, like I'm that. sorry. He's if a moose. If you had anything Because, like, it ain't going to be a horse. He ain't a horse. Why can't it be Moana? I would All right, go Moana ahead. Go ahead. Now. He's a moose. You're locking in moose? I'm locking it. No. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm locked that shit the fuck in. Okay. We are locking in moose. So you're going to do this, mama. I am here to tell you. That it is a moose. And if you say it's not, I don't care because I'm going to say it's been a moose. That is incorrect. Then what is he? The answer is a reindeer. I said no, he's not he's a reindeer. Not. He's not he a reindeer. Can you play that no, 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 no. He, the thing is, I talked back? to him last week. <laughs> he's not a reindeer. For real? He's a moose. He For told real. me. Then why he not flying? Right. That nigga didn't fly. That's a fucking moose. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga didn't fly in the sky. That's a moose. And I literally just say, it can't be a you reindeer. Sure you don't need the glasses. Your eyes go <laughs> <laughs> Because, girl, you said, that motherfucker didn't fly. fly. <laughs> did it. All right. We did it. No, fly, throw me the next nah. question. I'm sorry, because nah. he's a moose. You so dead ass. I, I are... talked to him last week. He told Yo. me he was a moose. He did. I promise you. I, I, see, call, I, I think. Can... Wait, hold on. I'm you gonna, assume I'm going to call him right now. Let's not say good. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You's a moose, right? He told me he's a moose. He did. You want to speak to him? You profiled him. He got to go. <laughs> <laughs> he's a moose. Okay, we've got the first one incorrect. We got to correct. That's one not point. A reindeer. Reindeer. That's not a reindeer. That's it's not a reindeer. It's a reindeer. Okay, okay. Give me the I next one. Question too. number two. Clover. 
my Boba. new car. Huh? huh? And maybe you should, Maybe no, you shouldn't I'm even sorry, ask I'm that question because you don't even know. No. <laughs> I'm not answering that one because I don't you know. know. A, a four leaf clover. Uh, next question. Clover, my new car, and a KCR are all varieties of which sweet food stuff? Huh? What the fuck? This Manuka, is- clover, and acacia are all varieties of which food stuff? I'm not dumb, but Nicki Minaj. <laughs> what are we locking Nicki in? Nicki Minaj. <laughs> We're locking in Nicki Minaj. You said, you said it's a what? I'm locking in Nicki Minaj. Look, you I'm said sorry. it's a what? Are all varieties yeah, of that. which food stuff? You don't know that. You know that? Because I don't know that. And I'm going to throw a random ass and I don't know that. What you mean food stuff? Food. Like chocolate. Like sweets. Like it's got to be chocolate. Yeah. No, which no, 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 no. It's got to be chocolate. Chocolate. You. It is chocolate. Are you I think locking so. in chocolate? I'm just going to say chocolate. In chocolate. Yeah. Because I feel like it is chocolate. Uh, yeah. Don't look at them. Look at you me. You know, chocolate, chocolate? It's chocolate. We're locking in chocolate. <laughs> that is incorrect. The answer is honey. And that's the thing. Manuka honey. No, no, no. Fuck. No, no, no. And that's the thing. No, no, no. I talked Manuka. to chocolate last week. Manuka. Honey told me. <laughs> no. Honey told me that chocolate is basically Manuka the same honey. thing. No, no, no. Because honey and Manuka chocolate Manuka is the same honey. thing. So I'm it's the same thing. That. I'm surprised you didn't get that. Manuka honey. Are you disappointed? That's why, are you disappointed no, because that's yourself? why you kept saying Manuka. I'm like, Manuka, Manuka. Then he was like, it's chocolate. I'm like, are you it's disappointed something sweet. Yourself? Don't call me out like that. <laughs> Look, I gotta know. But the thing is, I'm not playing with you. I talked to Chocolate last week. Honey told me that chocolate and honey is the same thing. So we they got related. two points now. We got two. They I'm sorry. They are cousins. We got two. So you gonna say Maybe we don't. Maybe the US. Manuka is chocolate. Maybe in a different continent. You wanna know what's so crazy? That's how you know I'm under the influence. Cause once he said chocolate, my, my ass was like it? Charlie in the chocolate factory. I was <laughs> that's why I was like, chocolate. Manuka <laughs> honey is All a right. thing. Alright, we're gonna get the next one. Question number T. Right. MJ with the yellow T. Let's Tell go. Me. What is it? Which 20th century artist was popular for his portraits of Marilyn Monroe? You better not fucking <laughs> <there>. <laughs> I'm not supposed to that now. I'm, I don't got my, okay. <laughs> You'll be disqualified. Okay, You'll okay. never disqualify anyone the on this show. I will disqualify you. You, you said which? <laughs> <laughs> serious, Master. Just like serious. If I act serious, she's going to hear me repeat it. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Which 20th century artist was popular for his portraits of Marilyn Monroe and Campbell's soup cans? Wait, is that like that art pop type shit? Oh my god, you said cannibal soup? Can cannibal soup. Campbell's Campbell's soup. I said cannibal. Cans. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know his name. I don't know his name, Ty. I know she's talking about. I will give you an about. extra clue because you guys are not from here. In the night. I oh, you. Kanye West. Kanye? You said Kanye West? That's the song. Maybe. The cold story at the time. Jamie Foxx. So we fall on this road, the last song. Oh, what was all happening? Could you be so heartless? Wait. Oh, what's the Okay, the question is, which 20th century artist was popular for his portraits of Marilyn Monroe and Campbell's soup cans? Artists like, art artists or like entertainment Music like rappers? Artists. Music artists. Uh, you can answer that. Come Just on. answer the Come question, please. Don't play with me. I mean, I that's, mean a, no. that's a Kanye West song. So it's Kanye West. You cannot do that. Come on, bruh. I'll never give clues. Okay, so it's gotta be. I, I don't. I'm gonna look that song up. What are we locking in? Don't you dare. What are we locking in? Nicki Minaj. <laughs> oh, I was about to drop my drink. <laughs> what are we locking in? I don't know. It's just singing Heartless by Kanye West. But 
Like he did used to have certain videos with like the boxes and the color of pop. Like, that used to be a thing. Kanye West. We're locking in Kanye, Kanye West. Yo, can I go? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm, going I'm, I'm going home. I'm going home. This is not. I'm this going. is. You got us fucked up, and then <laughs> you want to throw questions at right, us, like, why would you and then give us clues, and, now you and then we titty. give you. The <laughs> I can hear the titty thump from the mic. <laughs> what are we lucky in this? Um. I don't give a fuck no more. Okay, right. you kind of that dumb shit. I'm, I've had enough. I'm tired of her. No, she no. Me up. Give me a second. You said, repeat the question one more time and then sing the clue. Which 20th century artist was popular for his portraits of Marilyn Monroe mm-hmm. and Campbell's soup cans? You're and then good. sing the song? You said, you threw? Wait, who sings that song? <laughs> she was gonna answer it. She was who gonna sings answer that song? it. Who sings that song? To the woman so hard. Guys, we're wasting time. Kanye West. You're locking in Kanye West? Oh, yeah. That's very incorrect. The answer is Andy Warhol. Oh! I know Andy O. Me too. So no, I actually do. Wait. But I'm not bugging that it came with like the color. Yeah, no, you were right. You were right. Pop art. I was like, on he it. was the creator yeah. of Pop Art. And that video was inspired by Andy Warhol. Yeah, art. I learned him in art school and in middle school, and we had to do like pop, pop art. art. Yeah, I knew that too. I knew that. You obviously, didn't listen. But why? But and look, the thing let's is, no, back. the thing is, I Come knew out. it. I just wasn't able Move, to like look, spit it out. I've been on the tra- I've been on the track for some of these questions, but I'm never on it. If you look back, you're gonna hear me say it's not reindeer. It can't be. Yeah, you were and there, but that. you're not there. And then once he was like, nah, he was so sure, like nah. I was like, you I'm need close. to take the reins here. You need to take the reins for the next one. All right, throw the next one. Oh. What question? Is it five. question number five? Oh. True or false? Coca Cola is banned in North Korea. Huh? Why are you whispering? <laughs> <laughs> Why you made my seat go down? I felt the hope. I'll tell you. True or false? Coca Cola is banned in North Korea. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Here? Okay, lock it in. You lock it in. Cause, cause yeah, no, I you, but like, basically, go. the mic picked up. No, it didn't. <laughs> True or false? What we locking in? Why are you looking at me? Look at her. No. What we? Don't. I said you should take the reins in this one. So you tell us. So you. Yeah, you take false? the reins. You tell me. You think it's true or false? You throw it where you feel like it is. Because apparently. Yeah. I don't care. I'm just gonna say it's true. We're locking in true. That is correct. Well done. <laughs> it sounded like something they would That's do. That's what I said you know, too. Black I said it was true. Black you are confident enough to say it. We talked about that. I did so. say that. Was Look at me. I'm telling you. I told you. I no, told you, he tried to say it. No, he tried to say no. It wasn't bad. That was your answer. You're gonna be like it was false. It's very true. <laughs> it's very true. So, question number six: Which rapper is responsible for the hit songs "Sexual Eruption," "Get Blown," and "Beautiful"? Sexual, sexual eruption, eruption. eruption. sexual eruption, beautiful, which beautiful, beautiful, and get blown. Okay, don't no. you dare. Which beautiful? What do I do? Don't you dare. Put your hands on the table. Which hands beautiful? On the table. Which beautiful? Because it's either Pharrell, Christina Aguilera, I can't. The song is it's called not, Beautiful. It's, it's not Christina Aguilera. I feel like it's not. Because sexual, sexual, sexual eruption. You acting like she can't have a song like that. Sexual what? Eruption. I feel like that's beautiful. Snoop Dogg? No, no, nah. it's sexual seduction. It's. I think it's. I think it's for real. Are you locking in? Okay. Say the names again. I like the Which rapper is responsible for the hit songs "Sexual Eruption," oh, "Get Blood," and "Beautiful"? It's either Snoop Dogg or Pharrell. But Pharrell has a singer. Snoop Dogg? What is that? Snoop Dogg? You can tell me. You can tell me. You can whisper in my ear. Snoop Dogg? Listen, you can whisper in my ear and I won't say anything. 
Snoop Dogg. Are we locking it? Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. I'm saying Snoop Dogg. We need a joint. What Pharrell saying. We need a joint agreement. For real. You said Snoop Dogg for real. You, you said Pharrell's like a singer. We, if we don't have an agreement, a joint agreement, we have to take it as a no answer. Wait, you said Pharrell. I said Snoop. <sighs> All right. Snoop. We're locking in Snoop. That's not wrong. Snoop Dogg. That is correct. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, damn. Ah. I, I knew it, too. You were trying to be like, oh. I'm gonna take, take my time. time. It's, it's seduction in America, you know that, right? The original version is a eruption. It's a rupture, will eruption. And you yeah. should be like that. Oh, okay. But that's why the you cleaner, said cleaner that. version is sexual seduction. seduction. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's why I like, knew that too, so that's why I was like, But you know the I way she did. did. No, did. that's why I was like, it has to be Snoop. Once she kept saying, I'm like, seduction. But that's why I'm like, you, it's Snoop. You nearly stared, stared her away. You nearly What's stared her one? away. What's the next Question one? number seven. Who directed the original version of the color purple? Oh. Go. Oh, you gonna finish, right? <laughs> you said, oh, like, you I said, know that. You said who I, know, I do know, but go ahead. Finish your question. No. Who directed the original film version of the color oh. purple? Mm-hmm. You know I know, you know I don't I think know. I know. This one is Oprah, so I can't Give it to me. It. I can't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I only know the current one. Okay, so you said the current one or the... No, the, the, the original, original, original film version. Okay, so the original... Put your phone <laughs> down on the table. <laughs> Nigga. Nigga, nigga. Nicki Minaj. Oh. Nigga it... child looking ass. <laughs> okay. That's what they said. Why do I feel like it was her, but. I'm tired of people. What are we locking Can you give me in? a clue? No. Nah, oh, that was so quick. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right. For real, for real, for real. All right. All right. All right. What? I don't know. Because <laughs> if I say Oprah Winfrey, it's I'm not. Right. No, she's with the, the she's current the new one. one yeah. yeah, but I'm just going to say I Oprah. swear she also helped out with the second one. Oprah's always helping Oprah out. Oprah Winfrey, fuck it. Are we locking in? I don't Oprah like Winfrey. the way you said it. I just don't like the way you keep saying the answers. Is that what we're locking in? No. It was. Five. You know who it was? Have time. Four. It was that one guy. Three. No, it was that. Two, okay. One. Okay. Have we got no answer? Oprah Winfrey. We are locking in Oprah Winfrey. And it's incorrect. Way, right. it's incorrect. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. The answer is Steven Spielberg. Spiel? Oh, I shit. I thought about him too. No, you didn't. <laughs> I know Steven Spielberg. Though. That's my G. That's my guy. Yeah, I know him. Good. We go for lunch yeah. together. He's great. Mm, that is. That's my guy. I don't know, that's right. <laughs> Question number eight. Which F is the medical term for a broken bone? What? Which F starts with an F is a medical fracture? term for a broken yeah, fracture. bone? Yeah, fracture. Fracture. Are we locking in fracture? Yeah. Yeah. That is correct. Well done. <laughs> yeah, Easy that one peasy. <laughs> yeah, with your little nursing degree. Yeah, I'm like, that's a fact, sure. <laughs> oh, come on. Finish the lyrics. Tonight, I want all of you tonight. Give me everything tonight. Give me everything <laughs> tonight. And we, no, we might not be in the moment. Girl, stop fucking it up for me. Ah, ah, Shut ah, up. Ah, ah. Well, damn, I was trying because to Because you, but you don't know the lyrics that you messed me up and I was about to finish. say Okay, it. finish, finish. Nine. 
We okay, ain't getting good, good. No, because you know I got ADHD, so now my mind is like so fucking crazy right now. Should I start it again? Oh. For all we know, we might not get tomorrow. So let's do it tonight. Don't care what they say. Let's do it tonight. Dun 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 sex and tell him hey give me everything tonight hey <laughs> did i get it right though that is correct <laughs> pick up you well done that was worldwide good. pitbull <laughs> and neo pitbull and neo give me every bumba yeah. thing tonight you Thanks. already know the fuck about give me every fucking thing tonight ah on this bank really on this bank holiday monday monday final I was gonna say, isn't today Today's Friday? Friday. <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake. Final no. question. All right, go ahead. What year was the Bratz movie released? Oh, wow. A, 2006. B, 2008. C, 2007. I was gonna say seven. 2007. I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with that. Are you locking that in? I'm just gonna, yeah. I'm just gonna say something. It might be six. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Well. Hold on, because the girl that was in it. Yeah, the girl. You said probably, 2008 or no? Because the said girl that was in it was in the B5 video. You said you six, seven, me. and nine. 2007, 6, five, and 8. 5, 6, 7. You it said 5? It wasn't 2005. It wasn't. 6, I'm, you said 6, I'm, 7, 8. No. Mistake. Wait, hold on. Mistake. <laughs> 2006, 2008, and 2007. Yeah, probably. It's 2007. I don't think it was that early because I just feel like I talked to him last week, didn't he? Are we locking in 2007? And if you say it's not 2007, I'm calling them right now because they told me another answer. Who's they? I'll talk to the brats. Okay. I just wanted to clarify who they was. <laughs> okay. We're locking in I can call them right now if you Hold on. They busy. But if I call them back tomorrow, they'll answer. <laughs> they'll give you the correct answer after this. 2007. We're locking in 2007, guys. This has been a very long and interesting. <laughs> are you smart? Please, wait, you said 2000. We are locking <laughs> in 2007. I don't really know what to do. Yeah, fuck it. Did you know? Before you read the answer? No. Yes? No, you didn't. What, what is, is it? The answer is 2000 and it's like a dick. <laughs> it's like a dick for that. Hurry up, Joyce. Hey, on, please. Joyce. Seven. <laughs> oh my God, I'm a witch. I'm a witch, I'm a witch, I'm a witch, I'm a witch. Well I done. told you. I literally, right when you asked that, my brain said seven automatically. That's it why well, I knew it was eight because I told you I knew. The them. way you're hanging like this is pissing me off because you didn't even get fifty percent. <laughs> He's like, I told you I fucking knew it. It's like, girl, put your head right down. <laughs> Damn time. We are ending the Are You Smart with four out of motherfucking ten. Oh. No, 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 no. You you messed up because the first two we got, the moose, and the other thing we got. The honey um, chocolate thing. <laughs> so you gotta add them the too. Fact that you said the honey chocolate we are under a flat of ten. <laughs> the honey chocolate thing show. I mean, you, you did your best. It was a moose. You did your best. And honey and yeah, chocolate is the same still thing. That nigga not fly. You so I'm so honey and chocolate help. is the same thing. You know that. Okay. They both sweet. <laughs> in your world, they it maybe in the U.S. Oh my god. Maybe the way the U.S. did, there's less balance than they said, but in the U.K. No, but there is clover honey, manuka honey. It's, it's, she's not I can't believe you didn't get that. You I know. know. That's why I was looking. That's, that's, like, very that's why I'm like, that's why I kept telling that. you to repeat. That's why I'm like, repeat it. So I'm why are you listening to me? Because I was, I was look, I was more late. I now always I tell people, drinking. listen, this is one thing I always say to people. Don't listen to me. <laughs> why is she listening to me? 
That you like you know I say that. I'm like, don't listen to me. Right. So why you listen to me? Because you said too quick and I was just like, I didn't feel like thinking. I should have thought. Fuck it. My bad. So we are gonna end up with four out of ten, but guys, that <laughs> <laughs> That is the end of the motherfucking episode. Mm. It's been a blast. I'm licky licky. Ooh, come I've on, licky licky. Such Nikki. a good time. <laughs> Honestly, I'm loving the US people coming, you know, now. Before it was like, mm. When the US people come, are they gonna come? But you guys, you guys, I swear to God, you guys have been fabulous. <laughs> you guys have been fabulous. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming. Where do we find you on the Bomba Clark internet, them there? <laughs> Hurry up, go. go first, ladies sorry. first. Oh, yeah, ladies first. Sorry, man. Um, NYC.bear on everything TikTok, Instagram, everywhere. Oh, you go, sir. What about you, King? You can follow me King. at Tasha Lawrence or you can follow me at Larico Lawrence because I have two channels and two TikToks and one Instagram. So Fabulous, yeah. fabulous. And we will be back next week with another bad boy or another bad girl or another bad boys or another bad girls, plurally. It's been amazing. Thank you so much for watching and we are Brrr. motherfucking out. Goodbye. Fuck off. All right, fuck off now. Right, get, right. get, 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 get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my face.